Yep, Charlemagne the God. Andrew Schultz. We are the Brilliant Idiots Podcast, and this week's episode is brought to you by Squarespace. Squarespace is the all-in-one platform for building your brand and growing your business online. Stand out with a beautiful website, engage with your audience, and sell anything, your products, content you create, and even your time. From websites and online stores to marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is the all-in-one platform to build a beautiful online presence and run your business. There are no hidden fees or price hikes, and all websites are optimized for mobile, okay? Head to squarespace.com slash idiot for a free trial and when you're ready to launch use offer code idiot to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain now let's start the show uh young nyla is here yep hezzy is here yo what's up what's up hezzy how was your weekend man um i gotta tell you something man Ang- to me. anxiety was playing tricks on me yesterday what happened I like your fit today, by the way. Thank you man I'm out here <laughs> um, okay. I went I went to get an MRI Okay. Have you ever had an MRI? Come on, man. Okay, of course. Come on, man. Yeah, I know you got anxiety. Come on, man. <laughs> Come on, man. You've been in the tube MRI, before. MRI, EKG, you <laughs> the know whole what I'm saying? Thing. What you want, man? Okay, so I go to get the MRI, and you're stuck in the tube when you get the MRI, mm-hmm. and they're just doing this like a... Uh, I'm not exactly sure what it is. I don't know if it's radio waves or microwaves or something, but they're shooting it in parts of your what body they so they can for? get a scan. What do you, what, uh, some shoulder shit. My okay, right shoulder's okay. fucked up. Um, and uh, I'm in the tube, and all of a sudden, I start feeling as if... I can't get a full breath. You opened your eyes. Well, I open my eyes. I close my eyes. I'm trying to just kind of fall asleep, but my brain is going. And then all of a sudden, it just feels like I can't get a full breath. And I understand that there's nothing impeding my breath. It's only my mind playing tricks on me. I'm literally thinking about You might be claustrophobic and not realize it. Maybe it's that. Yeah. You know, I'm going back to that time where I almost drowned. And I'm like, and then I did this interesting thing. I started thinking about a long time ago when girls used to come over to my apartment and give me head. And it relaxed you. I swear to God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It relaxed me. Yeah. And I remember just in that moment, I'm stuck in this tube and I'm like, oh my God, this is so uncomfortable. But I kept thinking about these girls who would come over and they'd, they'd knock on my door and then I'd let them in and they'd give me head. And my breathing came back. That's exactly what you're supposed to do. And it is amazing the power. A therapist will tell you that. A, ther- a therapist will say to you, think about think girls about who just throw to you up. And that, then when you're at, feeling anxious. They'll tell you, just think about things that make you happy. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Think about vacation. Think yes. about your wife. Think about things. Just think about positive things. That's and a, then yeah. certain girls I thought about, and it was like, oh, they were really stressful. And then the breathing started That's to right. go away. That's right. <laughs> and, then, That's right. and then there are other That's girls right. that they really went at it. I believe that it's never the moment. It's, uh, it's your feelings about said moment. Yes. So it's never the circumstance, right? Like a lot of times we think it's the circumstance. Yes. And the reality 100%. is, it's just a, a, the, the feeling you have of that circumstance because it might trigger something else. But isn't that amazing that things that you but, think but, about but, but, can but, affect your actual physiology? The that, way that you become breathe. things. Listen to what you said. Though. You, you said something else that we kind of skipped over, but you was in the uh, MRI. Yeah. You said you thought about the time you was about to drown. Yeah, that's that a claustrophobia. That's you feel, what I'm that saying. That's like, what I'm saying. So you change that thought immediately by thinking about. Something that makes you feel good. Yeah. What other things could I fe- think about besides and it, that? Your, and your wife being on stage, like moments in your life that made you happy. Like we got a, we have a memory bank of things that make us happy. Think about things that calm you. Like for me, it's like beach. I always think about the beach. See, I, wa- I started thinking about the beach and I was like, fuck, I drown in that bitch. Oh, mm. uh, all right. You know what I mean? Like I would think about these things and I'd be like, ooh, there's something stressful associated with it. Yeah. So I was, I, I started going, what is the most selfless act that has ever been bestowed upon me. <laughs> and it's a girl coming over and, and doing that with right. her. I mean, with the laying down that brought you there? We're men. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> the what? She's right. <laughs> what happened? What did you say? It's the laying, laying down. down in that position mm. that made me think and feeling helpless. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Toes yeah, curled, yeah. <laughs> grabbing yeah. the sheets. Yeah. By the way, that is a very, se- yeah. by the way, not only is it a selfless <laughs> act, you have to be very trusting to let a random woman give you oral sex. That's true. What? That's not true. Are you no. kidding? What? About, are you she kidding? She could bite your fucking dick off. Yeah. Okay. I'm dead ass serious. Think about this as a man. What are you talking about? Think about this as a man. The last random person that we offered our penis cut the tip of it off. Whoa. Whoa. Think about Whoa. the anxiety. The last random Word person that we offered our that penis snip the tip wow. of it off. Think about the anxiety that we have God. and the trust that needs that. to be built. You didn't offer that, though. What, I, what do you mean I didn't offer it? She's got. That. I hit him with the goo goo gaga snip it up. <laughs> Actually, you, did, you, you, you didn't offer you it, didn't but offer some, it. somebody did something to you that they thought would be good for you. That's head. 
That's mm. it. That's um, head. Yeah. What I'm, I, I'm somebody just saying, I'm doing grateful. something for you that they think would very be grateful. good for you. I'm very grateful. You know what I mean? Women give you head if you don't want it. <laughs> Say that one more time. Women though. give you head if they don't if you don't want it. Women give you head if you don't want it. If you don't, and want then it. think something's wrong with you if you don't want it. You know what's crazy? <laughs> we we think so highly of women. We we call it giving us head. It when they're sucking something out of it, they're taking really. Oh no! They, but it's, we it's view giving. it as a gift. They're definitely giving. Yeah, yeah. They are giving. It's giving. Actually, we're giving. It's giving. <laughs> we're giving. You're not giving it's shit giving. if you do it right. In fact, the it only gives. time the only time at I, the end it gives at the end. Yo, I've right. never. Yo, yo now it that does I think about if you it, do it correctly. I've never heard a man say I got some head. I always hear men say she gave me some head, but women. They made a fucking song about getting head. Wow. I was I'm getting, getting some, some head. head. I was getting, getting, getting some head. head. God damn, It's yo. crazy how sexist women are, and, and we don't even discuss and it. nobody talks nah, about this shit, It's crazy how yo. sexist yep. women are. Yep. Sometimes a girl yep. give you head, you give her the gift of the head, and then she's going to go spit it out right in front of you. <laughs> you give her the gift of the My head. My God, man. Even now, you thought I was feeling you. You just a fucking munch. Imagine we called them munches after yo, yo, that. You, you spoke about women. <laughs> you spoke about women on this podcast. You spoke about getting head. Not once did you call a lady out her name, bro. Never once not would I once do that. Did you say she was just a suck? She was just a throw. You ain't say none of that, bro. I would never do that. Wow. That's because y'all not rappers, but rappers do it every day. We're not rappers. Yeah. Yeah. We're just married guys. Mar faithfully married faithfully men. Faithfully married men. Thank God. Happy. But you, when you lay back, you think about what brought you the most peace. I didn't think about peace. I thought about pure. Angelic kindness. <laughs> That's real. You know what I mean? Like, and I'm just like, what is the That's real. what is the most calming thing That's in real. the world? That's Hearing real. your doorbell buzz 2 a.m. Mm. Right? Hearing the girl walk to the door and you hurt her doing those yeah. stretches, the mouth stretches that <laughs> you boxers are doing. Do. I don't know what made you, the, I, don't, the boxers, well, I don't know what got into you today to have this anointing, but continue. Yep. But I'm just saying, yep. and I thought about yep. the kind and I I'd look through the people on my mm. door and I'd see them out there. Mm. <laughs> 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 Mm. We're doing like yeah. this, doing mm. like this. I'm like, does mm. she think we're gonna box or mm. what the hell's going on? Yeah. Mm. And then they come inside <laughs> and then rain the heavens upon me. Mm. Rain mm. the heavens upon me. Mm. Wipe away my sins of the day. If women looked at fellatio the way us men do, y'all wouldn't suck so many random dicks. Ooh. You know what I mean? Y'all wouldn't just give that up Ooh, so much. Yep. Straight Isn't up. Isn't that? Yeah. As I never felt like I need to snap after somebody said but something right that there. Like I just the same felt as <laughs> getting boxed, or is one way more whoa, than the whoa, other? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Why are you talking about it like that? Well, like it's having sex. But getting boxed, like I would never refer to a woman's vagina That's like that. That's wild, Nyla. It's not just a box. The way y'all don't respect yourselves oh is my crazy. God. Yeah. Crazy. Maybe Does that's why y'all so sexist, because yeah. you really hate yourself. It's unbelievable, mm. yo. Like, why don't you talk about that? It's beautiful. A box? Just a, a box? A box. Yeah. A box. Is it put clothes in when I want to ship something? Nah. Shut up. Yeah. That is just crazy. wild to me, yo. Yo, and, and then they get upset when we just send them out the house right afterwards. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? That's what you do with a box. You take a box <laughs> and you send ship it somewhere it out. else. Ship it out. Why don't you stop treating yourself like boxes? You might not get shipped out. Mm -hmm. is, it, is it the same equivalence? One is higher than the other? What do you mean? What? Cause you said, if you knew what it meant to men, you wouldn't do it. You wouldn't do it as often. But isn't like having sex the same? It's all. It's a part of it. Oh, you talk about men having random sex with women. Yeah. I don't know anything about that. I'm we have agent. to have sex with y'all, or else y'all think we're gay. This is crazy. That's the thing that's fucked up. That's, that's the other. We thing. wouldn't that's even right. want to have sex that's with y'all right. unless mm -hmm. we're in love. That's right. But if we don't fuck y'all, right. oh, he's that's gay. Right. That's right. Look at this. That's guy. not that's true. Right. That's not true. Can't even take a picture with the boy friend. without you think, being. Y'all do it for your friends. <laughs> you think something's wrong with him though. Yeah. I've heard many women say stories about how. He got a little penis. That's why he don't want me to give him fellatio. You know what I'm saying? I, oh, he's gay. I, that's why he don't want to have sex with me. Can I tell you a personal me. story about how crazy women are? Okay. I had a girl that wanted to give me head when I was a youngster. I was just in high school, first year of high school. This girl was absolutely beautiful. She was in high school too? She was in high school too. Okay. Absolutely beautiful woman. I didn't have pubic hair yet. So you didn't want to show her your penis? I didn't want to let her down. Word up, word up. I, didn't, I knew how much girls love pubic hair. Word, 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 word. And I was worried that if I pulled my pants out and there wasn't a big, thick tuft of pubic hair, women do love she pubic wouldn't hair. want to suck yeah. it. I've heard a lot of women say the favorite part of pubic hair is just taking it out their pubic hair. Hell yeah. You never heard that? Of course. What happened? You think you think you're going to have a quinoa bowl? You're not going to have a little suck come between on, your teeth? You're going to take some pubic on. hair to pluck come that on. shit out? Come on, guy. Come on. Come on, Why y'all act so surprised like Taylor Swift winning an award? You know this. You know this yeah. already. Come on. 
Yeah. Nigga said their favorite part. That's crazy. What do you mean? <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. What do you mean? All I'm trying to say is I'm you don't understand the insecurities that men feel. Well, yes. I think I think that story's fair. Yeah, you should just save her and not show her anything. Oh, you did end but up showing her. I didn't show her. That's right. That's right. That's right. And you did the right and thing. And what did she do to, to you? She called you? Did she shame you for that? Yeah, she she thought I was scared, or she thought that wow. I didn't like in your her. Adult wow. She thought years? I was gay. Wow. Has that happened and in your adulthood? I said adulthood? lucky wow. guess. Wow. <laughs> Wow. I said, lucky guess. Wow. You know what I mean? What do you mean? You know what I'm saying? Come now on, he gotta, yo. Now he got to pretend to be homosexual because he's ashamed. Teenage years, sure, that I happens. I y'all think I'm gay that I don't have a fat tub of pubes. That's crazy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Come on. It's really crazy, yo. It's really crazy, man. Um, What else happened this weekend, man? We had a great weekend. I went to go see MJ the Musical. <laughs> Love yourself. MJ, did you see MJ the musical? Of course I saw MJ the musical. Talk to me about it, you man. You talk to me. You just saw it. Um, hold on. I gotta text my wife and ask All right, I'll talk. Okay, go ahead. Boom. Um <laughs> uh, no, no, it's it's it shows the power of the music. Yeah. The music is so exceptional that you're willing to watch multiple fake MJs play <laughs> MJ. And then when they're out there, was it like the Dominican looking one, the, the light skin one? Which one? The lead? The lead, yeah. Miles Frost. Oh my in God. Fucking St incredible. Just amazing. God damn. You shouldn't Miles. be you shouldn't be able to act and dance that good Bruh. and sing. You know, that what shouldn't I be thinking? allowed. I was, I was, you know, it's a lot of things I was thinking, but I was like, what is his vertical? That motherfucker was jumping through the roof. Like, I ain't thought about no shit like that unless I'm watching basketball. Yeah. I've never looked at a man just performing on stage, jumping, and be like, what is his vertical? Yeah. Like, the way he was bouncing, I'm like, was there a trampoline or something on this, at certain parts of the stage? You don't think? <laughs> Charlamagne, there's a whole part of the stage that he just shoots out of. I remember that part, but there was yeah. another part where he was just bouncing, bro, on some Tigger <laughs> from Winnie the Pooh shit, bro. <laughs> you didn't see that shit, yo? Go back and watch it again. You're going to be like, damn. <laughs> You're like the weirdest guy. <laughs> You're the weirdest guy, bro. Because like, I pay you attention watching to details. The history of Michael Jackson's life, and the only thing you think about is how high can this Dominican jump? That motherfucker was bouncing, bro. <laughs> Like, yes, I, I was looking at him. Bounces in what we part? Saw. Miles Frost. What song? It was at the end when, uh, it was, it was, it was like towards, it was at the end when everybody came out on stage and he, they just started performing like, I don't want to say random songs. I'm sure if you go again, it'll be the same songs. When they were bowing. And... Yes, man. That motherfucker was bouncing, but I thoroughly enjoyed it just because, man. Yeah, it's him. Miles Frost, beast. Pretty little motherfucker. Beast, man. <laughs> yes. At the is, is that him right there? No, that's the other Michael. That's the middle Michael. All the Michaels did their job. No, nah, middle man. Michael. No, no, but but uh, My Miles Frost, uh, that, he right. deserved to be. Where By the he way, was. I hate you motherfuckers at Broadway that have to record, man. I hate anybody that goes to a place where they tell you not to record and y'all record. Like, I'm that guy. I literally called one of the ushers on somebody. Say, he's recording. No. Why is he going, yo? Oh, my God. That's the God. dangerous shit. Oh but you know God, why? Charlotte. Let me tell you why. Because the ushers <laughs> kept flashing the okay, light when they Karen. would see people do that shit, right? And at the end, I'm looking at this motherfucker in front of me, and he's just like catching them at the end. Why you want to fuck up somebody's moment? I hate that How shit. How you know that's not their family? I don't give a shit. If that's your family, that's all the more reason not to record. Why you want to put this man? So you tattletailed? Uh, immediately. I thought, uh, should I look back? The guy caught eyes with me? <laughs> no! Son, yo, you got to no, be kidding bro. me. Bro. Like, like, Charlotte, come on, son. <laughs> come on, like, Charlotte. What do we call blackmail Keenan's? <laughs> that was some Karen <laughs> shit. That was. <laughs> Fuck that. I hate it, man. Stop fucking with people's art. You know what pissed me off about the Chris Rock special? The fact that that emancipation joke leaked the day before. Oh, wow. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't like that. Like, yeah. stop ruining people's routines. People yeah. work hard at this shit. That's facts, especially with comedy where, like, you need the surprise. Yes, yeah. man. With something like this, like, we know what happened in Michael Jackson's life. You know, so this is not about, oh, you're going to surprise us with something. But uh, but I do understand what you're saying with the man, uh, spend your with money, stand up. Yeah. Spend your money. Come watch this show like the rest of us. Bro, can I, can I tell you the, my favorite part of that Michael Jackson musical? Talk to me. The thriller, thriller sequence. Oh, my God. Where they basically juxtaposed his father, Joe Jackson, as the monster in Thriller. And then what is Michael becoming? Ooh. He's becoming his father. Yeah. And, and it's just, oh, it was so cool. I never looked at Thriller in that way. The ill thing about that, that, that was a part of it. Um, I just like, like how he sorry, sorry to interrupt you, but like he got, he started treating the people that were working with him. He was working them to death. He was, uh, the, the, the dancers don't have a break and the yeah. people designing the set don't have a break. And he's not realizing that he's taking on these traits from his dad that he hated. He's become 
he's become he's what become he wants. He's become the monster. Hated. You know what I mean? But not, just, but not just to the people around him, to himself. Yeah. Mm. Michael didn't know how to disconnect. Yeah. Because Joe pushed him like that. Mm. He only knew one way to go. Full steam ahead. All the Perfection. time. To the one point to it was it. killing him. Yep. Yo, I, I, I walked away from that shit saying like, yo, there's no such thing as perfect. And there was another part in the um, movie where the guy who was his manager was like, you got to stop chasing your last success. Bro, Michael was a once... Michael achieved a feat that nobody in the history of life will ever achieve again. And sometimes you have to be okay with that. Mm. Selling 100 million records no, son, <laughs> of one album absolutely. in a time when motherfuckers had to go buy tapes. I don't even know if CDs was out there. They had there. to go to the store. Was CDs out there? Mm. Yeah, I don't even think they CDs was quite out there. Store, Come bro. on, man. Yeah, that's crazy. Yo, yo, nobody will ever achieve that again. That is a once in a lifetime you know, life-changing success. Like, yeah, you make the most money you're ever going to make, you That's create the facts, most general wealth, generational wealth you're going to create, and then you take that money and do other things. But he did, he thought that was the bar. Yeah, but you... God, and it was even... for him. But yeah? My, my favorite part was when the manager was saying, um, it's about music makes great stories, not the artist. But... It's funny because, like, Kim Osario and a lot of journalism and hip-hop are like, what's the story behind the person today? Mm. So it's like times have changed where back then... Oh, yeah, now you want the engaging character, and then the music is kind of like an excuse to engage. It's like an accessory, honestly, at this point. Real talk. If your life is interesting enough, people will enjoy your music because it's a reflection of that life. It's like almost like everybody's a reality star. Yeah. Yeah. That's what happened to Michael. Michael got to the point where... His life became bigger than anything he could possibly do in the music. Mm. Like, Yo, like, like Michael got yeah. to the point where you wanted to know everything about Michael. You didn't care how good the music was because the music never stopped being great. Yeah, bad was good, dangerous was good. But when he started all the plastic surgery and he's walking around with bubbles and he's is he sleeping with the elephant man's bones? Is he in an oxygen chamber? You know, is he a pedophile? All of this shit. You care about all these other things yeah. other than his music. Michael Jackson became bigger than any music he could, put, he could ever put out. They, that is facts, bro. And they didn't touch that pedophile story at all. I'm Thank glad God. they didn't. I really yeah. didn't even want them to touch the pills that much either. T touch the what? The pills. The pills were part of it because that's what... That's the... And yeah. The pills were part of it because during the Dangerous Store, because that's when... I think that's... If I'm not mistaken, that's the last tour he was preparing for. With the MTV well, and girl. And that's what pushed him to even get on those pills so much and the, uh, the anesthesia no, and everything no. else. The last one was... Uh, the Dangerous Store. No, it no, no. It was uh, one... Uh, what was... One more time? One, uh, oh, this, yeah, because they put out a it. doc. This is it. This I think. is it. I think it's it. This, this is, is it. Tour. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was a tour he was working. So what tour was he working on in the dock? That was way back. That was like '90s, I think. That. Oh, yeah, got yeah. you, got you, got you. Nah, I'm glad. I'm glad they didn't show his death. I'm glad yeah. they. Did. First I'm of glad all, they let us get lost in the music and yeah. lost in how the music made you feel. I mean, it is, dude. It sounds corny to say it, but you're sitting there. And the energy around the music. It's like every single person there yeah. was singing. Everybody was clapping. I haven't seen that much connectivity oh. in a Broadway play ever. Because that's our era. Ever. That's our era, though. Bro, We came not... up in that. It's different when you go see musicals of music you came up on. Yeah. I ain't know none of them songs in yeah, Hamilton. True. Like, if it's Bruce all... Springsteen's play, everybody <laughs> was probably oh. singing that shit, too. Yeah, go crazy. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Hamilton, those were original songs. I didn't know none of them shit. Yeah. It was dope. Yeah. But when you in there and you hear Thriller Ooh. and you hear it, um, Billy Jean and all that shit, oh, my God, man. And I'm glad they didn't touch on the little boy shit because... Because I, I don't want to think about that while I'm singing. And I think, I think Michael was innocent. I, I do not think Michael Jackson touched those little boys in no way, shape, or form. You entitled to think that, You bro. know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, that man was investigated by the FBI for 17 fucking years. The wow. FBI. Wow. And they found nothing. Wow. It's the FBI. Investigated you for 17 years. They investigated YSL for 17 months. <laughs> and they got everything. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, so they investigated you for yeah. 17 years. You think they're not going to find nothing? Yeah. Not a phone call, little boy breathing over the phone, something? Yeah. Come on, man, stop. Michael was innocent. And the, the, the two men said when they were younger that their parents put them up to it. You know what I mean? Yeah. But then they recanted that much later in life and did the documentary and everything. Whatever. I yeah. think Michael was innocent. I'm entitled to my uh, opinion. And I think everybody should go see MJ the musical. It's really it is fun. phenomenal. The story is fine. <sighs> like, you know, it's they put together a story. You got to find a way to root for somebody and make him the underdog in a situation where he's clearly not the underdog. He's like an incredibly wealthy guy. So they're like, will the story is basically like, will they be able to build the contraption that shoots him out of the ground? 
No, nah, like, I'm a fuck with And nah, he's like, I really sure. want it. And this guy's like, we can't afford it. He goes, I don't care. Sell the house. But not nah, <laughs> even, even before that. That was like in the middle. Yeah. They, they started doing that towards the middle. Right. But like, I'm saying like, what? that's the reason why you're kind of like holding on. That's the arc that they're trying to say where he goes, I'm willing to put up. I'm really a mortgage. Yeah. Never land. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, and they have the to Beatles find a way catalog. to. He, more, he leveraged that too. Yeah. 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 I, I like it. I like the beginning of it too. Cause you know, even though he was a child star. Yeah. There was that period where it's like, what do I do next? You know mm. what I'm saying? How do I become an adult? Well, dude, you know, I was thinking about this. I'm thinking about this a lot. Like, uh, you have to continue to evolve in everything. Yeah. And I think, and I, I'm not as familiar with the Beatles music as like, a, obviously a super Beatles fan. But one thing that I talk to Beatles fans about is, and that they often say is that the Beatles would continually evolve. They'd very, the, over, very overrated group, if you ask you me. Could, you could say that. That's fine. I, I'm not John, I'm, Sting, whoever else is in the Beatles. I'm not, <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not debating whether they're overrated or not. I am saying that they went from one type of music and then did a completely different one and then another completely different one. And that takes immense balls. And I, I have no idea because I've never heard a song. That's fair. That's fair. That's right. No, no, don't, don't get into the thing. Uh, he's doing his what? whole thing. It's okay. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Oh, fine. He took the bait and we were just moving right past it. So, so, so what I admire about that is like, it's very easy. Like, for example, like I'll give you an example of stand up. For this, this next tour that I eventually will go on when I put it all together, right mm -hmm. now, like I'm writing, and it was really hard for me when I started writing new stuff. It was really hard. And I was like, why is this hard? And I specifically thought it was like, I don't want to just do a different version of the jokes I've done before. Mm. And this happens a lot in music. It happens mm. a lot in different genres where you have something that works and you just go, okay, I'm going to like remix it. And it'll be similar topics and similar ideas, whatever like that. And I was like, no, I really want to evolve. I want to talk about something else. I want to reflect more of my personal life. I want to reflect on like the change that's happened in my life. There's a lot that's happened that's different than it was four years ago. And, and I think the artists that continue there, that have this amazing longevity, look at like a Jay-Z, like this amazing longevity is their art is reflecting where they are in their life. So when we see them, we go, oh, it's not that same shit I heard a bunch of times. It's, oh, this is new. You're talking about investing in art? Yeah, we can call it corny or yeah, we can call it uh, rich people problems or whatever. Or we can go, wow, that's kind of cool that you're reflecting the level you're on instead of just trying to repeat the success you had. Mm -hmm. Very interesting. Mm -hmm. And you're absolutely right. And you can look at it a couple of ways because there's artists like a Jay-Z who at one point dropped the album every year. But... Every album, to your point, when you listen to it, you can, you know exactly where Jay-Z is at mm -hmm. in his life at that moment. But then you can look at somebody like a Chris Rock who said he always gives himself time to go live life. So when yeah. you speak about evolution, yep. if I'm 20 and I put out a stand-up special, if I write another special within that year or two, it's probably going to still sound like... You went through all the same shit, the same you have shit. all your opinions That's about right. those things, etc. Right. And eventually, if you keep on doing the same shit over a long amount of time it sounds like you're doing an impression of yourself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Musically, mm -hmm. comedically, mm -hmm. any of these things. And mm -hmm. also he would just look a little corny trying to keep up with the times. Yeah, like, like right. I wanna, I'm more interested, I don't know, the way I've always looked at stand-up is like, the bigger you get, the more personal it can get. Because now people are investing in your life. In the beginning, I thought, well, who the fuck am I? Why, did, why does somebody care about my day? I don't, like, I wanted to talk about the topics. I wanted to talk about the issues because... I didn't have the arrogance to be like, everybody should shut up and just listen to me tell my story about what happened when I bumped into a homeless person. But eventually when you get some fans, you get some fame, they you can care. explore this part of yourself because these people invest in your life. They want to know what's going on in your you life. You think podcasts ruin that for, for stand-ups? I think it made it better right. because I think that they're even more invested and they understand kind of who you are as a three-dimensional person. But being that you give so much of your personal life in your stand-up, I mean, in your podcast every week, when you're actually sitting down to write your stand-up, did your mind say, oh, you already said that? Well, no, I think what my mind says that now about topical shit. So it's like before where I'd write a bunch of topical jokes, I'm just like, no, nah, I'm going to get these takes out on a pod. I don't, right, I right, have right, an right. avenue True. where millions True. of people are going to see it. True. So I can get my topical takes out. You and I can fucking riff. We can go on flagrant. We can riff and just write these funny, not write these, but like think up of these funny takes or whatever. And I feel that satisfied. And then my stand-up, can reflect kind of like how I'm relating to the world. So this is like gym for you. And then Yeah, and I'll, and I'll be honest practice. on stage too. Yeah. But like 
I was really frustrated. I'll be honest, in the beginning, I was like really frustrated. I was like, the fuck is going on? And then I had to like sit back and reflect. I was like, oh, it's supposed to be frustrating. This yes. is new. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. You're reflecting on your life Are in a, you giving in a way. yourself enough time? Maybe you're not giving yourself enough oh, time. Oh, I, I haven't locked in anything. Okay, I'm okay. not. I, I take this. Yeah, I, I don't want to tour until it is it is ready. Yeah. It is something I'm that really proud of. might be three years of. from now. Maybe. And that's you know, fine. There's no rush. There's no rush. That's why I like when Kendrick takes his time between yeah. albums. I told my you agents. I, mean? I, I literally said, I was like, listen, I'm not agreeing to... I'm not agreeing to a tour. I'm not putting on a tour just yet. I'm going to do these shows and I'm going to work out this material and continue to work out. I'm working out in the city every single week. But I'm not going to tour because there's a dollar amount attached to it. I'm going to tour because I built something I'm really proud of and I want to share it with people. That's the time that that happens. And uh, it takes time to do that. Yeah. It, it, I could go through like a growth spurt where I go, okay, this is awesome. I got 20 new minutes I'm really proud of. And I could go through months where I'm like, God damn, man, I can't get this thing to work. And that's Don't part force of it. it, man. Exactly. That's part I, of it. I think the rarest, the hardest thing to do nowadays is entertain people for real. Mm. <laughs> like, I'm not even joking. Yeah. Like, for us to go to Broadway and watch a Broadway play, that's why I get mad at the person recording it. Like, enjoy the moment. Yeah, take it. Because this motherfucker's yeah. entertaining you for real. Yeah. You know what I mean? The reason I still like stand-up, because people are purposely crafting hours yeah. to go out there and entertain you for real. Yeah. You know what I mean? We live in an era, this shit don't take nothing to entertain a motherfucker. It's I can just so go on my phone and watch a motherfucker farting in a bag and then putting it to somebody's face and everybody. And I die laughing every that, time. It's amazing. I, come on, it's hilarious. You know what <laughs> I mean? It's so good. But my point is, it's very hard to like strictly entertain. You know, Andrew's trying to avoid talking about Chris Rock's stand-up special because he don't like talking about other people's stand-up specials, but he's going to talk about it today. You know what I mean? <laughs> Chris Rock's stand-up special that we saw this weekend, Selective Outrage. That's the other thing I saw. I, I saw a lot of good entertainment this weekend. Thoughts? Whoever wants to go first. Nyla hated it because she's 12. I didn't hate it. <laughs> I did not hate it. I told you, my dad called me saying how amazing it was. But the first half of it was him, like, going in on his daughter. So I thought my dad was, like, being subliminal. About <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I'm talking about, this is why it's hard to entertain. Not even just hard to entertain, hard to do anything in front of these cameras. Because people don't actually allow themselves to feel what's happening. All they do is project their feelings about what's happening onto you. But once he you got past the daughter yourself. part, I liked it. I just think people, we don't even allow ourselves time to digest anything. Now, everybody loves the last 10 minutes of Chris Rock special, I'm right? not talking about the 10 minute part. I like where he's talking about storming the Capitol, I taking that America back. That's, that, that's, those are my favorite parts, but everybody likes the Will thing. If you went into this special wanting to hear Chris talk about Will, mm -hmm. did you pay any attention to anything else? If all you can think about is, when are you gonna talk about Will? When are you gonna talk about Will? Are you allowing yourself to feel anything else, to hear mm. anything else. But he he walked us into it with the foreshadowing, like, I don't want a problem with no with rappers. No other rappers with the the Jay-Z and the Beyonce thing. Mm -hmm. I think he did a good job with the foreshadow. Break your rules, Schultz. Schultz does not like talking about other people's things. <laughs> yeah. I don't, yeah, like, I, if comedians are in the news, I like talking about that. Yes. But I don't like He's talking. in the news. He's all over the news. You know, he's in the news for yeah. other things, like the Will Smith slap thing we talk about all the time. Okay. But comedian's art, you know, gets enough criticism and that kind of stuff. I just like the comedian's art to speak for itself. And uh, and and I like not, I like to hear non-comedians talk about it, but you have to understand, like, this, I know what it's like to go through to create an hour and to put it out there in front of people. It's an like incredibly vulnerable situation. So I, I, as comedians, it's hard for us to just go and like go and pick apart these things. I thoroughly enjoyed it. I see I've seen that set. It's my third time seeing the set. I saw it last summer at the garden and I saw it last month in uh North Charleston. When I saw it last summer at the garden, he had no Will Smith material and I saw it last uh last month in North Charleston, he had a lot of that Will Smith material. You know what I'm saying? He didn't have the emancipation joke, which y'all can kiss my ass. I thought was hilarious. Man, were people upset about that? <laughs> yes, you know what I mean? Yeah. I thought that joke was funny as fuck. People were you know actually I mean? upset about it? Um, you talking about the movie and the whipping? Yeah. yeah. For concussion? I didn't know Jada Pinkett called him, told him not to do that show. Every, yeah, I mean, not to host, yeah. yeah she everybody, started the whole I, mean, I can say everybody knew that, but people, yeah, pe mad people knew that. You know what I mean? That's terrible. But I, no, I, the emancipation joke was funny when he said he was so mad at Will I watched that he watched the emancipation, emancipation just, just to see, see him, him get, get whipped. whipped. Yeah. That's a joke. It was funny. It's, it's hilarious. It's a joke from yeah. a comedian. <laughs> it was funny. It's a hilarious like, joke. I don't even understand why people take that 
as anything literal. He's in not any way, literally shape, getting whipped in the movie either. It's exactly. Nothing about this is real. He's not Nobody's even making, hurt. He's not even making fun of slavery. Yeah. It's just a <laughs> ill premise. It says yeah. hyperbole. Like I yeah. watched Emancipation to watch those men get whipped. Like, yeah. what? Come on, man. Yeah. You know what I mean? He could have said, I watched Ali again just to watch him lose the Frazier. Like anything, yeah. you know? Yeah. Uh, it bothered me a little bit, just the lie factor. Because the internet told you to. No, 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 the lie factor. Because the internet told you to. No, <laughs> just the fact that he stumbled over that joke. So he like he kind of gave up the... Um, punchline, yeah. The punchline mm -hmm. before he hit the it. The lie he stumbled factor. Over? Oh, wait, yeah. wait, wait, I don't remember Yeah, that. he said... Because uh, he said the wrong name. He goes, it's called concussion. See, I didn't even notice it because I saw it on the internet the day before. Okay. And everybody told me it was emancipation, so, so I didn't even notice it. In the live version, and this is the, the obviously the risk of doing something live. In the live version, he says, he goes, um, he goes, Jada, Jada didn't want me to host the Oscars because her husband wasn't nominated for uh was emancipation. Yeah. Oh, he meant to say concussion. He meant to say okay. concussion. Yeah. The punchline is then concussion later. So he even says in the special, he goes, he goes, oh, I fucked up the joke. Yeah. yeah. And then it kind you of fucked up. You didn't fuck up the emancipation joke, though. It did because. he said that movie before. Was he was supposed back. to say that movie. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. see, I didn't even catch that. Yeah. To your point about live, I would never do a live stand-up. Yeah, I, yeah. I guess my well. feeling with the live stand-up thing is that, like, it doesn't. I understand creating a, a gimmick for someone to watch your special. Mm -hmm. I think that that makes sense. Mm -hmm. That's marketing and that's smart. If he didn't have the Will Smith thing, do it live. Because now you have a gimmick. People go, well, I just want to see what could happen if he does it live, right? No, I don't like live stand-up. Well, just, 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 yeah, just yeah. take this in. Um, but he already had a hook, the most powerful everybody hook in stand-up history. Yeah, everybody everybody wants to see yeah. what he, So don't add more pressure on the moment. Yeah. Just record four shows to use the best show, cut them together, do whatever you want. Do it. Nobody's watching it to see if you're going to get the words right or not. We want to watch you deliver your best performance. So that's what I would have wished that they focused on. Yeah, right I, I wish they, I wish, I hope that they did tape, you know, him throughout his talk. Because he wore the same thing every, 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 uh, Show he did. Yeah. He wore the white suit yeah. with hmm. the Prince thing. So he did that. He's been doing that since last year at the Garden. Yeah. So I hope they do put out this special yeah. in the way it's supposed to be taped. But I wonder if he did the live thing just for him. Like I, I think everybody's saying, oh, he did that for Netflix. Maybe he did that to challenge himself. Maybe. You know what I'm saying? Like he was gonna get he's gonna get 20 million from Netflix regardless. I, yeah, I agree with that. I feel like he was trying to test his skill in yeah. the art. It wasn't like it was a pay-per-view where they was yeah. paying for it. You know what I mean? I think he did that. Let me go out here and do this. I want to do this. By the way, he did create a spectacle. You know, 48 Law of the Power said you got to create a compelling spectacle. Mm -hmm. And I, I, when have we ever seen everybody tuned into a stand-up special like it's a sporting event? Yeah. All the years we've watched stand-up specials on yeah. these big networks, these big platforms. And don't get me wrong, social media wasn't around for, you know, the Raws and all of that back in the day. But the fact that everybody was tuned in on a Saturday night yeah. to this shit like it was a sporting event, but it's that's not, great for comedy. But it's not because it's live. I think it was because it was live. Yeah. Everything nah. live. Everything live on social media is different shows. Everything. That's, that's not Award true. Award shows. So, yeah. I'll Football be honest games. with you. I'll be honest with you. It's not true. He'd have never got that many people watching that shit at one time like that on a Saturday night. Yes, he would have. Nah. nah. It's not nah. because it's live. Nah. It's because of what happened. If they it's because just put of what this, happened. Yeah. Listen, if they'd have just put this shit on Netflix, people would have watched it. But when everybody gathers around at one time to watch something, there's nothing like it on social media. Bro, I, I know. The, the whole reason why we did the release the way that we did for, for my last special was specifically for it. There was a short window where you could watch it because I wanted everybody to watch it at the same time. All right. right. And that was the issue with Netflix specials and specials in general is that they would just sit there and everybody would get to them while they could. So I wanted to create some scarcity. Like, yeah. this is only up for now. So live does do that. Don't get me wrong. But people weren't tuned in because it was live. They were tuned in because one of the greatest comics ever was about to deliver his revenge on a man who slapped him in the face and publicly humiliated. True, but they were tuned in because it was live, bro. It, was, it all goes hand in hand. It's, like It's both. It's yeah, definitely, it's definitely both. both. Definitely sure, both. There, Absolutely it, it, both. it's percentages. I think he doesn't even do that live without like that 60, hook. Probably like 60, 40. 10%. He don't even do that live without that hook. Don't, don't, doesn't do what? He doesn't do the show live without the Will Smith hook to it. Agreed. What does he that mean? I don't know. He doesn't don't go live if he if he doesn't have the Will Smith angle. If there's no Will Smith angle to this, like, oh, he got slapped at the Oscars, hasn't spoke about it in a year, he doesn't even go live. He just does a special like he's been doing it and puts it out. The fact he's got the Will Smith hook, 
let's bring everybody in. And I bet you the numbers for Saturday night was crazy. Man. Yeah, there, there's no question. I, I, yeah, I just wouldn't do it. I just, and you said the same shit. Yeah, I don't like. I, I do not like live stand up. I, I want to see. No, you like live stand up. I you like, just yes. don't like watching it live through yes. the TV. But I'm a comedy connoisseur, so I go to comedy shows. So being that I go to comedy shows, I know what they expect. I know it's not perfect. I know they're going to be crowd work. I know they might stumble over shit and come back to it. When I'm watching it on TV, I don't want to see that because for the people who don't watch stand-up, they're overly critical of it. But I still think he did a great job on I thought on he the bodied list. it. Yeah. I thought it was... I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed it. He has some great bars. Great bars. He has some great bars. No question. I'm and um, yeah, it's just a... Listen, it was great to see that many people interested in stand-up. It's great Man. that he created an event that people mm -hmm. were curious about. And it's great that he got to finally... In Baltimore. And then finally reflect on like what happened and use his comedic genius to execute it. You know? Now somebody texted me and said... Yo, you know that whole shit when he went off script and was calling Jada a bitch and, you know, saying everybody call him a bitch. You know that was, you know, he he winged that, right? And I'm like, no. First of all, I said, who told you that? And he was like, nah, somebody that was dead told me backstage. I was like, I was in North Charleston last month. He did the same exact thing, yeah. including the shout out. Because yeah, yeah, I yeah. started to correct him and be like, I never called Will Smith a bitch. But I'm like, wait a minute. I gotta get this my might name make in this special. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, wait a minute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This might be for the special. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, it's February. The special comes out next month. Yeah, yeah. I know this ain't he this ain't off the cuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me mind my goddamn business. <laughs> Let me mind my mother. By the way, white people love Chris Rock. What do you mean? What do you mean? Man, I had some white people texting me. I had one one white person text me who is very, is a very, very, very powerful human. And he was like, Man, just heard Chris Rock shot you out. And he put very, 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 very impressed. And I'm like, what is he impressed about? The special? Or is this him nah, shouting nah, me nah, out? Nah, nah. I don't know what it was. He's impressed that you're <laughs> influential he enough that you're yeah. getting a shout out. I will say that's Whatever. cool about Chris Rock is that getting a Chris Rock shout out in a special feels like a rapper putting you in his bars. You know, like. Which rapper, though? Doesn't matter. Like a fire rapper, like. Depends which rapper. I've been mentioned by a lot of rappers. It depends I mean, Drake. Rappers. But you, you remember the first time you were mentioned by someone you respect? And how you felt? Somebody I respect? Uh, yeah, I do, actually. It was uh, T.I. And wasn't that I cool? Said, yeah, T.I. said in the bar, he said, I'm a god like Charlemagne. It was one of his mixtapes. I forgot which one it was. Absolutely. But that was, that's cool. Like, even, like, he shout out Jason Momoa. It's different, though. What do you mean? It's different. I'll give you an example. Like, Chris Rock's special is more like Drake dropping back to back. It's an event. Ah, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Everybody's tuned into this event. Yeah, it's one. It's the you know you get mentioned in a rap bar. It's cool. Oh, that was dope. That's my man. But when it's an event that everybody's paying attention to, yeah. it's a different ball game. Yeah, it like it can immortalize you in a different way. Yeah, for yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. I guess what I'm saying that's awesome. That like I'm just mad if, like Chris didn't give, give tell people to give me anything. Like I still get bottles now because of Drake. Oh really? <laughs> right, like right. I could be in a random restaurant and somebody will send me a bottle, <laughs> and then they'll be like, "Oh, that's do over there." And you're like, "Bottles to show them, man." <laughs> Especially <laughs> Indians for some reason. Yeah, they like that. <laughs> oh my, they're so classy, classy individuals. Yeah, man. yeah. I don't know. I just thought that that was cool. I thought creating the event was great. And unbelievable. Building the hype was great. Executing the revenge is great, yeah. and being at a stage where if you talk about somebody, if you say their fucking name, they're excited. You know what I mean? Like, it is cool to be mentioned by this guy. So Absolutely. I thought that was great. Absolutely. He was... didn't call and let you know he's going to do that? You found out while watching? Well, I saw it last month. Yeah. I saw it, in North... I saw it when he did it at the North Charleston Coliseum. I know. I'm asking about then. Oh, no, 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 no. No, he ain't say nothing. I mean, I could I never called Will Smith a bitch. Not that I remember. I don't think I did. Don't ruin the joke, bro. <laughs> <laughs> but I thought the point of it was that don't it was a joke. A joke like, think about who he named. You think The View called Will Smith a bitch? Like, come on. Now, did I have my thoughts about the whole entanglement red table talk thing? Yes, we talked about that, but I never called him a bitch. But either way, I appreciate the shout out. I thought it was fantastic. I think it's great. You know? I think it's great. And um, I just enjoyed the special overall. And I'm looking forward to everybody else because, like I said, I saw I saw Kevin's new material, which will probably change because Chris has changed. Chris's royal family shit was funny. Yeah, that was But funny. the shit he said last summer was even funnier. And I know he changed it because the queen died. Uh, you know what I'm saying? 
Uh, like he had a, he had like three bars about the whole Queen thing, and it was what made it so dope is it was based off personal experience. Yeah, because mm. he's Chris Rock. He's been famous for a long time. I'm not going to step on it because he didn't put it in the special, but you know, like he had a bit in there about the Queen that made that whole shit even funnier. Yeah. Wait, couldn't yeah. you say it now though? Since what do you mean? I mean, couldn't you say it now? He's not going to put use those bars. Well, I mean, if he didn't use it, I don't want to say it. You know what I'm uh, saying? Like, funny. I'll tell y'all after the podcast. But uh, it was funny. It's just, it's just some funny shit. Yeah. But Kevin's new shit is funny. And to your point, it's super personal. Yeah. But that probably will change because his father passed away. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm. Dave's new shit is super personal. Yeah. Because, I mean, when you offend every other community, you have nothing else to talk about but yourself now at this point. You know I, what I mean? I'll be honest. I think that's where, I think that's where comedy goes. Haven't it always though? Yeah, I feel like it not always. necessarily because if you look at guys like Chris Rock, like guys like Chris Rock have you know exploded early on by having like great topical takes on the issues that were like plaguing society, right? Mm. Issues on race and politics and you know gender dynamics. Mm -hmm. George Carlin, same thing, politics, right? Yeah. Race and like you you look at those people and they were a voice at a time where many people were voiceless yeah, there yeah, wasn't yeah. twitter there wasn't instagram there wasn't youtube nah, videos you're right. yeah now we live in a time and topics didn't feel so dated exactly now we live in a time where every the topical joe everybody's going to have a take you're dealing you're competing with 100 million people on the internet mm -hmm. Like, people are going to have your same take about Chris Brown, the same take about uh, Beyonce, the same take about the Ohio disaster. Like, yeah. it's impossible to not share a take about something. So how do you make yourself more unique? How do you separate yourself? And I think it's just what is happening to you personally. Yeah. And I think that's just where at least comedy specifically is going to go. Yeah. Y'all still pissing me off with this uh, Chris Rock is anti-black thing. And this Chris Rock. Uh, Bro, I saw a great tweet about that. Chris, it said, Chris how you going to wear all white and this Two black women. <laughs> Listen, there, there's so much we can say about that, but man, you really gonna be mad at, at Chris Rock for using the B word? Do I think you should call women the B word? No, but goddamn, have you checked your favorite rapper lately? Yeah, I know. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, what, so, I, like and, and you're proving his point. This is what selective I, this, outrage. Exactly. Selective this is what I think people are really mad about the Chris Rock shit because he's calling you on your shit. Yeah. We're all hypocrites. We all yeah. use selective outrage. We can look at one person doing one thing, the other person doing the other thing, and if we like this person, we ignore that, but if we don't like this person, we go at that. Mm -hmm. this shit, he, all he did was hold a mirror up to us, and now we're mad that he held the mirror up to us. Because yeah. there's no way in hell you're gonna sit here and now all of a sudden tell me, he shouldn't have called that woman the B word. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Really? I mean, if, yeah, if that's your issue. That, that's your issue? After after you've listened to all of these different guys call different women B-words. You know what I mean? Prominent women, too. Just you say can, you like Will Smith, dude. Just say you like Will Smith. Just say you like Jada. Like, <laughs> if we up. get it. You're just trying to find a way to discredit this dude. But nah, that's not it. Even at the end when he said, uh, and you don't, my mama told me you don't fight like in front, front of, of white, white people. people. Yeah. And everybody was like, see, this proves that he cares what white people think. All of y'all do. No, I did not hear that. <laughs> I did not hear that. You didn't hear what? That people were complaining about oh, that. Oh, no, nah, there were people complaining about that. That's and I thought that was ridiculous because we stop each other from fighting in front of white people. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. don't, like how many times have public said, yo, don't do that. Don't, you know, don't, don't, don't do that in front of, there's, there's in front of mixed around. company. <laughs> Wait, yeah. why is that? Why, why don't you want to fight in front of white people? Because hmm. for me, it's because white people already have a perception of you. And, and by the way, if they have that perception uh. of you, they're probably going to have that perception regardless you know what I mean? Uh, you don't want to feed into a narrative. I'm not going to feed into it. it. Absolutely. Interesting. 100%. 100%. Wow. 100%. So it's, it's weird to me that I've seen people, whether you've said that verbatim or whether your actions show it, you know what I mean? Or you say it in other ways. So white Get people, mad at him. So white people think that you fight, that black people fight, like, I, I explain, like, family fights? What do you mean? I don't know. It like, could I don't be understand anything. It. I just think it's the stereotype of black people... Uh, especially black men being dangerous and being violent. Oh, okay. You know yeah, what I yeah, mean? Yeah, so yeah. let's not reinforce that in front of anybody. You know okay, what I mean? Gotcha, and, gotcha. and which is so strange to me as if white people aren't violent as fuck. <laughs> you know what I'm but saying? It don't even got to just be fighting. It'd be like a kid crying in the store. Like, don't cry, there's people around. Like, it's like... Really? Yeah, you Don't just, show off in front of these people. Yeah, you just got to... me in front of these people. <laughs> you got to be your best self. <laughs> Who are these people? You, we know who these people are, okay? But yes, go watch the special if you haven't. I, I don't want them to put out the live though. What would you like? They I edited it. Well, huh? they edited the audio already. Oh, they did. Yeah. So if you watched it live, the audio sent like it was a little hollow in the room. Now the audio that's out, like the room feels a bit more full. Yeah, I don't want. Uh... I rather them. I rather them take 
different times he's done that material to the best of his ability yes. and oh, put yeah. it together. Yeah. Yes. You know what I'm saying? That's what I would that's what I would want. That's what the special is. That's, that's what, what the special, special should be. That's what the special is. They say Will Smith been trying to reach out to Chris and you know um Chris has been ignoring him. Chris said the opposite. Chris said he called him, he didn't call him back. Well, well, that's in the that. special. That's in the special. You know what I'm saying? Why would he lie about that? Because it's why not? It's a yeah. special. He lied about you a lie. Tell the truth at every joke in your special. Every single one. <laughs> <laughs> but, Chris, but Chris might call him back now. I'm not calling you back when I got this hot material. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. You're not going to stop this no, train. No, no, yeah, no, no. Yeah, We're not yeah. about to have no convo and say, apologize, my bad. And yeah. then you see me six months from now letting these bars go. Yeah. I'll get back to you after the special, yeah. bro. Now we can apologize. Now we can apologize. Now I we can slap talk. back. I, now we can reconcile. I slap back. Fair now, enough. Um, Creed 3 broke box office records. The Alex's, bam, bam, bam. The Alex's chagrin. <laughs> yo, <laughs> yo, we should we should do like a that's first of all amazing. I think they did like a hundred million dollars. Sports movie yeah. of all time. Of all time, absolutely incredible. Which is crazy I, to call that a sports movie though. I mean, it's about a sport, Charlamagne. It is, but I mean, a sports movie to me is an actual like the last dance is a yo, sport. Yo, Creed was genre? phenomenal, bro. Yeah, so, so. <laughs> that's a phenomenal Keep movie. Keep saying bro. that so they serve you a last lap. <laughs> <laughs> Chill out. <laughs> What happened to uh, last no, 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 no. What happened to last Michael lap, B. Jordan's nah, establishment? Nah, Yo, what nah. happened to Michael B. Jordan's nah, uh, nah, bar in New York? Nothing. nothing. What happened to his Michael bar pressed you? <laughs> nah. He was in town last week. He pressed you in last lap? Nah. What nope, happened, bro? Nope, we're not doing that. Come on, bro. <laughs> no, stop it. You ain't getting no beef patties, bro? <laughs> what happened to <laughs> last lap? Al went in there trying so, to put the beef in beef patties. <laughs> and Michael didn't know what Michael, it was. Michael didn't serve him no God Casamigos damn, Reposado. Michael. <laughs> I'm talking about <laughs> Newark, New Jersey, so, baby. So hold on. So you're really nope. banned from last lap? Nope. Nope. I don't know. Come on, bro. I'm not going to put that on nobody. He nah, pressed I don't. you and kicked you out? Nah. Nothing. Nothing happened at last lap. He's making shit up. Alex is not welcome wow. last lap. He wow. not getting no service wow. in last lap. Michael last name is Alex because Michael banned Alex. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> And you know, Michael see, B. Uh, never mind. You see? Yep. Damn, Dang, Dang. Yeah, she, you bailed me out. I know you, you bailed right. me out. There you go. Let's go. 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 See? Go. 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 Uncle Charlotte, baby. I was shooting. You weren't shooting, bro. I don't even know what you were doing. I was fucking dribbling or some shit. I didn't even consider that a shot. That wasn't a sports movie right there. Back to Alex No, 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 no. Charlotte, keep joking, Charlotte. So Alex is in this bar. First of all, we've, Come on, we've been stop to this it, establishment. Laugh Lap, phenomenal establishment. Stop. Great place. Well, I it's can't tell you shit. It's I'm Michael never going to tell you shit, bro. Listen, Did Michael I, press him or no? No, no Michael no. wasn't there. But I just want to let you know, now I don't feel safe in that establishment. <laughs> I brought UFC champion Israel Adesanya to that establishment. Izzy, yeah. We brought Izzy there for a lovely meal. We that was before, supported That was this before you called that man gay and said you yes, could sir. whip his ass. We never called First him gay. First of all, I never said he's gay. You're a liar. We said two on one. No, I said I could beat him up. Oh, I what said is two happening? on one. Two on one what? Last week, Alex and, and Andrew uh, <laughs> said Michael B. Jordan and Jonathan B. Ba Jonathan Majors so look gay. Okay. No, I said the, I said the pictures were gay. They said their pictures were gay. That's gay. They and then pictures. I told them that if y'all can't beat their ass, shut up. And then Alex Andrew, Alex and I said, Andrew, that's dope. <laughs> Alex Ooh. Andrew or Alex and Andrew both said they can kick Michael B. Jordan ass. Two on one. Respectfully. Ain't no two on one. <laughs> two on one. I, no, we said no, two no. on one. We boxing said two. match. Just straight up boxing match. Michael B. Jordan. No, I don't you think so. Now, now I know when the whole last lap thing happened. Ooh. Because there was a random tweet that came through the group chat this week. Ooh. And it was Alex saying, Yo, nah, y'all don't want no problems with Michael B. Jordan. He I, got hands. Get the yes, fuck he out. Did. I'll read this shit. Don't fuck him back right Yo, that now. is true. Oh, Lord. That is oh, true, Lord, bro. man. Oh, Lord. God damn. I'm just not. Texting none of y'all niggas. I like ball, the man. photos. <laughs> you yeah. like what? The photos. You said the photos look good. Oh, the photos good. are out. Yeah, to what's, there's nothing wrong with it. Talk to me. They, what, 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 yeah, what is wrong with the photos? I thought you said that last week y'all said the photos look gay. But there's no, nothing wrong with being they gay. They said that. There's nothing wrong with being gay. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying I like the photos. You can like gay things. But think about that. No, this is a good point. Time out, time out, time out, time out, time out, time out. This right? is a good point. Brokeback huh? Mountain, great time movie. Out, this is a good gay. point. Nyla's a woman, and I saw mad women reposting them pics. So who cares what y'all think right. if all the ladies like it? Hey, 100 million people went, or whatever. The movie made $100 million. It doesn't, That's like, right. hello. Yeah, it don't matter. That's right. This like, 
Friday, 9, 19 p.m. <laughs> okay, it. Michael B. got hands. <laughs> Give me like six months with a dedicated boxing coach, and I got him. There Jonathan, go. I want no parts of. Nope. And I said, no, no, <laughs> no. <laughs> you going to meet Killmonger and Kane. Nah, nah. No, nah, no, nah. we never so said we, Jonathan We never B. said Jonathan, 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 Jonathan Majors. <laughs> not Jonathan B. Majors. <laughs> Is it Jonathan Majors? John, Jonathan, Jonathan B. B. ass kicking. That's what it's going to yeah. be. I believe it. Yes. I didn't say I could beat up Jonathan Majors. We never said that. And then Schultz, you know, Schultz forever the I can do heart surgery. Surgery. Andrew, I can do heart surgery. Oh, Show says, it. if I'm honest, I'm fucking them both up. <laughs> <laughs> See? <laughs> Let's pay some bills, guys. Why y'all act like I can't box? That's what I'm trying to understand. You, you can box. Say plenty. again? Listen, plenty of boxes get knocked out. That's the whole point of boxing. Two people can box. One just sure. boxes better. You're so, right. That's the you're whole right. point of boxing. You're right. Andrew nah, you got right. heads. Can he beat Michael B. Jordan? I think he could. Have you seen their shape? I think he could. Have you seen their shape? Even again. in the magazine cover, it's they not talk about, about how you build. They, they yes, talk about yes, how they is. train. No, it's not. Fury got you gassed, bro. They worked it out three times a day. day. Yes. Okay. Andrew Ruiz beating Anthony Joshua got you gassed, bro. No, it ain't it ain't how how they built. Built. Drew be in the gym, bro. When I put these paws on Drew be in the gym, son. You're going to get your opportunity. You be doing Pilates, yoga, all the shit. In all seriousness, it's not. Let's do it for charity. Maybe Michael B. Jordan will do it for charity. I'm down with that. But in all seriousness, it's it's not about uh it's not about it's not about how you how you built. It's really if you honestly want to know it's boxing, it's it's conditioning is massive, but it's really about how you handle uh, uh punches, how comfortable you are by being attacked. Because most yeah. people gas out not only from throwing the punches, but from holding their breath when they're getting yeah, punched. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the other thing. And like I just don't know how much fighting they've both actually done. We're not talking about hitting the mitts. Everybody looks great on the mitts. Like, how long have you been in there? How comfortable are you getting hit your in the guy, fucking face? What's your guy named the boxer that trained Michael? Tom, you, you said his name on the podcast last week. Who? The one that accidentally knocked him out. Oh, Tony Ballou. Tony Ballou yep. said, Michael B. Jordan is so good, it's scary. He's, and and he, he said that if he trained Michael for six months, Michael could go in there and compete. Mm. I, I mean, I'd say that too if someone's paying me, man. Yep. Wow. Yep. Do you know what I mean? Yep. I, I, I want to still, yep. still, yep. yep. still be in the movies. I want to still be in the movies. They trying to sell some tickets. Right. Yeah. 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 Like, what is he supposed yeah. to be like? Oh, nah, he's funniest, dead. Funniest he guy in America. Funniest guy in America without even trying. Oh. <laughs> you. Oh. 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 Charlamagne. Charlamagne. Yo, your name is great to say when you're exasperated, oh, right? Oh, man. <laughs> Charlamagne. <laughs> like, you have a perfect name when somebody's that's saying so something funny that you makes that. you. It and is people the love calling me when they fucked up. Charlamagne. Like, when something goes, Charlamagne. Charlamagne. What are you calling me for? What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck am I supposed to do, people Charlamagne? People like calling on me when they're in trouble and, yeah. and calling me to blame their trouble on. Oh, really? Oh, my God. Why? Who's blaming their trouble? It was Charlamagne. Charlamagne. Um, let's play so some what bills, are you man. Doing? <laughs> what is Squarespace? I was trying to have an olive, Al. So, it's this guy's so stupid. Yo, should we extend an olive branch to <laughs> Michael Big <laughs> Dolan and Jonathan Major? Should we do it? Uh, Squarespace, man, is the all in one platform for building your brand and growing your business online. Stand out with a beautiful website, engage with your audience, and sell anything your products, content you create. Okay, and even your time, all right? Squarespace makes it easy for creators to monetize their content and expertise in a way that fits their brand. With member areas, you can unlock a new revenue screen for your business and free up time in your schedule by selling access to gated content like videos, online courses, or newsletters. Add online booking and scheduling for your classes or sessions to your Squarespace website. Clients can easily see your availability or reschedule if needed, taking the hassle out of coordinating, coordinating calendars, all right? Create pro-level videos effortlessly. The Squarespace video Studio app helps you make and share engaging videos, detail your story, grow your audience, and drive sales. Stand out in any inbox with Squarespace email campaigns. Collect email subscribers and convert them into loyal customers. Start with an email template and customize it by applying your brand ingredients like site colors and logo. Built-in analytics measure the impact of every sin. Create a community on your Squarespace website with a fully integrated commenting system that supports threaded comments, replies, and likes, all right? Use their powerful blogging tools to categorize, share, and schedule your posts too. Add online booking and scheduling for your classes or sessions to your Squarespace website. Clients can easily see your availability or reschedule if needed, taking the hassle out of coordinating calendars, all right? Head to squarespace.com slash idiot for a free trial, and when you're ready to launch, use offer code idiot to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Let's get back to the show. Uh, we got church announcements, Schultz? No, sir. <clears throat> 
I want right. to tell everybody to make sure to get your tickets for the Black Effect Podcast Festival hey. happening April 22nd uh, at the Pullman Yards in Atlanta, Georgia. Um, for all people who love podcasts, man, you've been to live podcast events. This is just a festival vibe. We're going to have food. We got my man DJ Louis V <clears throat> um, providing the soundtrack. When I say we have food, there's going to be food trucks and vendors out there. We got the Black Effect Marketplace, so there's going to be Black Effect merchandise as well. It's merchandise from your favorite podcast that'll be there, like the 85 South Show, Horrible Decisions with uh, Mandy and Wheezy, uh, Reasonably Shady with uh, Giselle and Robin, um, the Checking In podcast with Michelle Williams. You know I'm not doing no type of festival or anything without having you know a, a mental health aspect to it. So Michelle Williams will be there doing her, her podcast that is all about her people's mental health uh, checking in. In. Um, the Big Facts podcast, we in ATL, so you know we got to have Big Bank, Baby Jade, and DJ Scream. And it's hosted by myself and Jess Hilarious. Uh, so tickets are available right now, man. Uh, wherever you get tickets, you can go to blackeffect.com for more info. But it's uh, April 22nd in Atlanta on a Saturday in the daytime, the first ever Black Effect podcast festival. It's happening, okay? Okay. And make sure you scream 88 too, man. Thank you to everybody that's been watching uh, 88 the movie on, on, on various streaming platforms. It's on uh, Apple TV right now, and it'll be available on all streaming platforms on March 24th. All right? Okay, now let's get back to the show. Uh, John Barant, man. What do you think, Schultz? Um, it's pretty awesome. <laughs> Why? That he's a point guard wanting to be a shooting guard? No, I uh, I just think it's awesome, to be honest. I The, the tricky thing is, like, you, he, they have to make sure that the brands are willing to stay with him. Uh -huh. But his superstardom that he's ascending to right now is just limitless. I mean, the guy, the way the guy plays the game is so exciting. And then who he is off the court is more exciting. So you have one of those situations that you had. It's different, but the closest thing I can relate it to is in Iverson where you got this guy who's like, yo, I'm out here. I'm going to live my life however the fuck I want to live my life, and I'm mm -hmm. going to play the game however the fuck I want to play the game, and we all want to play the game like him, and then some people want to live the life like him, and uh, it's just it's just magical. So many eyeballs. I mean, the kids are just going to be like, oh, my God, this is my hero. Now, I understand why the companies are going to be like, nah, fuck this. Why are you... Uh, you know, making it, why are you living this life that you don't necessarily live? I guess that was the criticism. Like, is he really in these streets or has he adopted this street stuff once he became rich and successful? Both were stupid. Yeah. Whether he's really in the streets or adopted the streets after he's super successful, both were dumb. Yeah. Um, I don't know if kids like this. You know what I'm saying? Because kids recognize stupidity too. No, they and don't. There's a no, lot of kids. Don't. No, they don't. He's, they, kids like this. They recognize it and they go, that's awesome. No, when it comes from rappers, not when it comes from somebody who's on a basketball court making hundreds of millions of dollars. Yes, they do. Yes, no, they, they don't. They, they just like we, wild boys, man. Where we love from the AI. Well, yeah, we loved AI. You didn't when see we... AI doing stuff like this, Alex. What you didn't see AI. He flashing. literally got a gun charge. When did Allen Iverson get a gun charge? When he was in Virginia. No, he didn't. He got into a fight. <laughs> what are you talking about? He got into a fist yeah, fight. Yeah, they, they, and they get, it was actually, I think, they gave him a lynching charge. In, in, in South Carolina, if you get into a fight with more with a bunch of people, oh, and you end up a, jumping somebody, gotcha, so, yeah, gotcha, it's, gotcha. it's a, it's okay, a lynching charge. Okay, that's yeah. still being stupid. Yeah. You got all this money. He and, was 17 years old. He wasn't even in the NBA yet. What are y'all talking about? Okay, whatever. <laughs> like, yeah, he like, wasn't a multi-millionaire with a $100 million sneaker deal, a $100 million contract. They, they, why do you think he's getting flamed on social media? They calling him, I saw somebody calling him a, uh, what do they call it, NBA, NBA, NBA dumb boy, yeah, yeah. Uh, Ja Warrant, yeah. you know, as in Warrant. Yeah. The kids don't look up to this because they can look at this behavior and tell it's silly. And stupid. Nah, that's Charlie, you don't fire, know kids, bro. bro. I just want to do You don't know kids. Stop no, dressing don't know. like one. You think if you dress like one, you know them. <laughs> I want to do Why hood rat shit. You got a sweatsuit on. Get out of here, bro. I want to do hood this. rat shit with my friends. No. And he's doing hood rat yes. shit with his friends. They like hood rat shit with your friends when all your friends are hood rats. When you're a $100 million NBA player yeah. and could lose everything because of this, 
No, they don't respect that. And by the way, they'll be the first to clown you because the truth of the matter is misery loves company. They're really jealous of you. They don't want to see you succeed. So they will cheer you on when it comes to fucking throwing your life away. And now that he's in trouble and he's been suspended indefinitely, what's happening? Trending topic online. Look at that. Memes. Are you just a fucking <laughs> meme now? Well, people they, meme everything. Yeah. They, got, they got nicknames for you, but that's what they do to you. They don't, they're not, they don't really want to see him in these streets. They, they'll cheer you on until you jump off a bridge and then they're like, you stupid motherfucker. Now you NBA dumb, dumb boy. I, I, I think yeah, that I think you're, you're off on this speaking one. on this as an adult. Yes. And I think that these kids making the memes are just having a lot of fun. And it's more fun to show how into guns and into the street life he is than it is to be like, let's make memes about how bad it is to be street. They're calling him NBA dumb boy. Yeah, it's a yeah. pun. It's funny. And it's a reflection of how they feel about him. <laughs> NBA dumb <laughs> Whatever. boys. All Derek know, Rose watching John Morant waste away a good pair of knees trying see, to be that's, bad. <laughs> that's trying to be funny. hood. Time that's out. Once again, once again, Derek Rose watching John Morant waste away a good pair of knees trying to be hood. Nobody respects that hood shit, bro. They really don't. Charlotte, the kids are relating to him because he likes all the same music that they like. They do the same shit um, in the videos with their guns and all the shit. I'm talking about just the kids, the the young kids that the like kids the same shit that he. It. I'm telling okay, you. Okay, what Charlotte. do you think? Okay, because so, I know you worship academics. The no, kids, go fuck out of here. Are you no, kidding? No, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Get the fuck out of here, the bro. Go to the academic page and see what the kids are saying about him. Why you By say, the way, why you, yeah, why'd you throw academics why? on me? That's crazy, <laughs> bro. That's, that's, that's crazy. You never heard his feelings. Yeah, like, He's talking about his outfits, talking about his nails. <laughs> that shit rubbed right off. The same <laughs> worship academics. Yeah, it's, uh, Damn, that's why, bro. That's why why'd you, you keep, put that on him? Guess that's why you you want to dress as one of academic sneakers that he wore on Flair. You look like Rand with a chat nigga, bro. I have never even seen him, but I think that's how he looks. The GOAT! Shout out Grand yeah, Wizard! Yeah. The GOAT! All I'm saying is, go to Act Page and see what they saying about him. Act, Act had the funniest joke. Act what was like, Ja, ja gonna be the first person Y'all the first person to ever try to get out the NBA to make it to the hood. <laughs> 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 like, nobody, nobody, nobody with common sense respects this. And I don't see kids respecting this But either. kids don't have common sense. That's yeah. the thing. And Alex said that the kids respect the 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 mute yes they like Ja because he listens to the same music but Ja's their age Ja's twenty four years old why do they so respect of course he's gonna be in the music why do they respect the rappers that do it and especially the rappers that fake like they live the hood life because we know a lot of rappers that don't do that hood shit and they still rap about it I, why I, do they respect that I don't I don't know what y'all call respect because the reality is admire look up to yes listen I think to their they music. like their music I don't think that they're liking I don't think nobody has a favorite oh man did you see him with the guns in that video like. Right. It's the music attached to it. Well, who said something about that earlier? The Michael, the story, what was the shit? You said something about the story. What the guy said in the Michael Jackson? The Michael Jackson musical? Oh, oh, oh. The, the Do song. Do you remember? The song, the song tells the story, not the artist. Exactly. So people like artists that tell stories through their music. Mm. And if you're watching, like, let's say, a documentary about them, and this dude's telling you all this gangster street shit he did, yeah. and he's in the streets with a bunch of dudes with guns, yeah. you'll be like, damn, he really from where he from. Yeah. But once that person makes millions of dollars, because you see it all the time, whether it's YSL, Ja Morant, as soon as they get in trouble for being hood, everybody calling them stupid. Well, here's the thing. Everybody. <laughs> here's the thing. Nobody that's in the NBA that's actually hood Acts hood. Because they happen to be out. Well, no. If they're still active, and there have been people in the NBA that have been active. Mm -hmm. I don't mean active like they're going running around the block shooting people, but they're active like with the gangs that they grew up in, and they're still maybe supporting some of those things, etc. I don't want to speak too much of people's business, but some you, of it is documented though. Like Jalen Rose has put it out there. All right, fair you know enough. Jalen Rose said too. I was that guy. Yeah. There yeah. are other people. Those people had this crystal clear image because they knew. They were on some dirt, and they couldn't bring any attention to the dirt, so they had to be good figures in the community, oh, et cetera. I know who you're talking about. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you do. I know exactly what you're so talking about. So don't talk about Yeah, yeah, I know exactly what so, you're talking about. So there's a few, but yeah. I know exactly so, you're talking about the big one. Come on, bro. <laughs> what? Yo, you, what is this? I know. Oh, like, they're so all right tall, bro. Right here. <laughs> this guy right here. My point is... His gunner main over here, bro. Is, yeah, <laughs> God, Gunner main. Gunner main. Funny as shit. Gunner main. Okay. Gunner main. So, so, 
the, I think the fact that he is out here living this wild life, got the gun, etc., shows me he's not really about the street life because if you were about the street life, you wouldn't share that shit. You'd be trying to be like the perfect little NBA uh, a, a player who's media trained and all this other stuff so they don't know about the wild stuff you're actually associated I, I, I'm with. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't even think Ja was trying to act thug. What I think Ja was doing was being a rebel without a cause because he's already under investigation for other incidents, right? I think that's why he put out the yeah, camera. Yeah, word. That's why he did it like this. He didn't point it at the camera like tough guy shit. Yeah, he's like, like this. and a boo boo. That like, shit is funny, like, bro. Man, it's, it's almost like he's listening to people who's like, yo, you know, you're under investigation for fighting a little kid or whatever. You're under investigation for a, allegedly pointing a gun at a person. I think he was mocking the system that's coming after him. He's a he's mocking all of the, you know, the the uh, the analysts like Shannon Sharp and everybody else. To his detriment, of course. Yeah. But I don't think he was. I don't think he was trying to be gangster in that moment. I think he was on the in a movie. Very, very stupid decision. Why do gangsters always want to be naked? <laughs> What's gangster about that? Why gangsters always got their shirts off, just draped over dudes? I know one thing, man. You know, I, all I know is, man, when you come from the extremes, that somebody like John Morant comes from. John Morant comes from Dalzell, South Carolina. The population oh, really? in Dalzell is like 3,500 people. I'm from Bumps Cold. When I grew up, it was 7,000 plus people. Now it's like 10,000. The population of where he's from right now is like 3,500 people. Like, Ja is from the sticks for real. Like, probably didn't even have a real basketball goal. Probably had the, the, the crate with the, the ply board behind it type shit. Wow. Right? I'm, I know he probably grew up on dirt roads. You know what I mean? So... To see somebody come from those extremes do things like this, it's like, man, please pull the young boy to the side before he blow it off. Because he got the opportunity to change so many people's lives. Like, yo, Jaws only in his, what, fourth year in the league? So he ain't even got the big, big, big deal yet. I thought a lot of the memes were saying, like, he came, he, like, had a, uh, all, like, both his parents, yeah, private, yeah, school, private school, private school like, all that yeah. kind of stuff. Sure, yeah. but that don't mean you, don't, you still don't come from the dirt. Well, it's, that, all of that probably happened to him because of basketball later on once he uh, became, got right. in high school. You oh, know what I'm no. saying? Yeah, yeah. The way that it was being positioned, maybe it was Skip Bayless said it. No, no, Shana Sharp said it. It's like they were trying to do the Eminem thing to him. Like, you went to Pembroke. That's a private school. Yeah, like, but I promise you probably went to Pembroke because of basketball. Well, no, no. Pem Pembroke is a fake school in oh, a movie called know. 8 Mile about a <laughs> battle rapper. Well, you said it like Shana Sharp said That's the bar yeah, that's that he, he says. Said, yeah. Clarence has some really nice parents. Like, <laughs> well, I'm saying, he, he probably went to a good... What's going on with you, bro? You want to talk about something? What, what's no, happening I'm saying, right now, He bro? probably still went to a good private school because of basketball. Huh? I'm sure that's why he ended up there. If I find out that you believe everything that happened in movies is real, <laughs> it's going to explain a lot about our friendship. But he went to a private school. It's going to explain a lot about our he friendship, went to a private school. I didn't, know, I, don't know, I didn't know he went to a private school. Yes. I don't know. That was the memes online. Online, they made it seem like yeah. it comes from a good... You're the funniest God, guy. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Charlamagne yeah. just looked yeah. at me. He goes, school. he went to a private school. Listen, I, I didn't give even know. You, you literally said this, and this needs to be focused on. I said that? You <laughs> went to me. He went to a private school. Did y'all say he went to a private school? I don't, I don't remember saying. I don't remember. He literally somebody <laughs> rewind the tape. I don't remember saying that. <laughs> so I really just, don't remember saying like, that. Like right after. No, I thought I was replying to y'all <laughs> saying that Shannon Sharp said he went to a private school, and I said if he did go to a private school, it's probably because of basketball. Yeah, that probably. I would. I would think it's pro uh, probably because of basketball yeah, yeah, too. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, but he's still from the sticks. Okay, so he's from and the sticks. Just to and clarify. the sticks don't mean you from the hood either. Yeah, could he you be, could just from, be from like the a country. small suburb? That's all I'm saying. And have yeah. land. That's right. You could just be from the country. So maybe his parents are rich. Nah, they definitely weren't rich. How do you know that? Nah, they weren't rich. They weren't they weren't rich growing up. How do you know that? Because I saw his documentary back in the day. He had a documentary. There was a documentary on YouTube about Ja like maybe three years ago. Three years ago. Yeah, they, they weren't they weren't rich. What's his pop? His pop's name is T uh T Morant. T yeah, T Morant. So yeah, but I just don't want to see this brother blow this shit like this, man. What does that have to do with that? And I was going to salute T. I was going to salute uh, T. Like, yo, T, pull, you know, pull, pull, pull your young boy to the side. And I wonder about that, too. I wonder about the dynamics, right? Like, when you come from that and now, now you're worth hundreds of millions of dollars, you might be the big homie. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, there might not be anybody to pull you to the side and tell you, like, yo, bro, you shouldn't be doing that, including your pops. Yeah. You know? His pops looks incredibly dedicated, though. I mean, like, he's at every single game. Absolutely. Like, he's clearly dedicated to his son's success. His so. dad used to play ball, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Yeah, yeah T used to play ball. Yeah. 
semi-professionally oh, wow. played basketball and uh, gave up, gave it up when his wife got, got pregnant to become a barber. But still, I, usually parents that are that dedicated and influential in their kids' lives are going to have uh, influence. I would think so over the decision their kids make, just out of basic respect. I mean, and that's the other thing yeah. too. I do see people saying that, like, yo, his dad don't have no control of him. That's not true. You know what I'm saying? Because sometimes you just get to a certain age and you're just not listening to your parents. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He's the kid is 20. He's, he's 23 Also, years you might old. be a parent. You might go, nah, this kid needs uh, tough love and he needs to, you know, know his limits and he's going to have to learn it the hard way. And, like, you, you can't be this, there. You don't want that to happen in this situation, though. I mean, we just saw the Chris Rock special. Yeah, but God damn. Chris Rock daughter ain't made hundreds of millions of dollars yet. And the, and the things Ja is playing with, it's one thing just to have, you know, you might be drinking or something, but yo, you playing with guns. Like somebody gonna try you, bro. Like you ain't gonna just be flashing guns at people. Mm. You know what I mean? And you play ball in Memphis. Like you ain't about to out thug nobody in Memphis. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You're not, that's not about to happen. So it's just like the things he's playing with. Like you put if if you are indeed putting hands on people, if you are indeed pointing guns at people, somebody might feel away one day and feel th scared and threatened and retaliate. Mm. You know what I mean? So it's yeah. just like, bro, don't don't stop playing with your life, more man. More at stake. It's a lot more at stake for John Morant. Like Stop playing with your life. And I know everybody keeps comparing this stuff to like AI and everything. I don't know what AI was into. I know AI was a wild boy, but I also know that the internet wasn't around back then. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So. And I wonder how they would have reacted. I mean, AI, but AI was a, a, just an absolute darling of the people. Like, we loved him. People I remember champ. being obsessed with him. I thought that he was just the greatest just sports figure that I'd ever seen. Like, I wanted to play the game like him. I wanted to be like him. Yeah, there was just like a liberation to what, it. What y'all are saying about Ja Morant and the kids loving that is 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 what AI actually was. But once again, uh, AI wasn't doing shit like this. AI was had tats, you know what I'm saying? He had the braids. He dressed like a hip hop person. He hung out with the rappers. He even rapped a little bit, you know what I mean? He wore all the jewelry. That's what people liked. That's exactly why NBA has a dress code. Allen obviously didn't pay all those fines for this shit. It says, Dylan Brooks channels his inner Stone Cold Steve Austin ahead of the matchup That's versus funny. the Lakers. That's that hilarious. That is wild. Oh, man. I, mean, I don't see Stone Cold at all. I right don't there, see bro. Stone Cold at all. That's one of those. Stone Cold, one of those motherfuckers you got to do white face for. You got to go full white face. And you got to shave your head. Nah, if, you can do Stone Cold. If you're not bald, you're not Stone Cold. You're not Stone Cold. And you got to wear the boots. You gotta have a boot. Oh yeah, on. what was what did he wear? He had on some J's or something, or some Air Force One. Yeah, I don't see. Um, let's pay some bills and then come back with some uh asking nitty. You wanna do blue chew? Like what? What else we got? Taylor says so much more stuff. Let's see, scroll down. What else we got? What the city girls do? Oh, young Miami says she's not gonna get married. We knew that already, though, young Miami. I mean. What? Why you say that like that? Um, Young Miami. How? Yeah. What do you mean? She didn't say she wasn't gonna get married. That's not what I saw. Uh, I, I mean, to be honest with you, I never. Young Miami. Oh, Young Miami announced she. Let me see. It's been a long week. I just want my man. I'm not sharing my next N word. Young Miami explains not wanting marriage. No, I don't want to get married. I don't want to get married because I feel like men are not faithful. And if I get married, that means I'm giving my life away to you. So that means like I want to be with you for the rest of my life. All right, so let's clarify here. You do want to get married. You just don't think that there's a man out there that's willing to uh, uphold the values of marriage. I wonder about people, like I love Young Miami, but I wonder if people are intimidated by Young Miami's music. You know what I'm saying? Are they, are they intimidated by her music? Are they intimidated by things they hear her say in interviews? Meaning, she's a city girl. City girls are outside. What do they say? City girls are, are, are don't, don't seem like they don't want to be tamed. You know what I mean? Like city girls seem like they don't want to be in relationships. City girls want to... You know, pop that pussy for a goon as long as they can. So if you're a guy, don't be upset. Do you want a city girl? Hell no. <laughs> what guy wants a city girl? What guy wants a girl who's like, I want to pop my pussy for a goon? <laughs> She's never said that. By that the way. is the whitest shit I ever heard <laughs> in, in my She's motherfucking life. So you never sounded that white. I'm white ever bro. in life. I'm white. Bro, you bro. sounded this type of white. Like he's yes. right here. <laughs> <laughs> you rub it off on. <laughs> <laughs> nah, like we don't want it. We don't want a city girl, man. No, we don't want that. Damn. So yeah, that's. And also, if you're a city girl, you're gonna attract city dudes. Yeah. Even that tweet. I'm not sharing my next N word. 
I thought that was the whole point of dating the city girl. She probably over it. Diddy got new babies and all that stuff. She just like I mean, it was she, cool. Girls run like through cool their whole phase, man. They but, get over that shit real quick. But it's then, only been a few months. She just was saying how she cool with it. Like he can do him. I, I don't do know me. how much dirt she did in them <clears> months. <throat> She I might have she, just went through it. But isn't that the same way Diddy goes about his shit? Like, he doesn't want to get married anymore. He just wants to have, you know, situations. So she's just, he, she's just doing the same as him. Yeah, but that's a function of money. Yeah. You know, like, you don't want to go through that whole shit. I think uh, they all just jaded. It's the, yeah, and, and by the way, I, I just, I wonder, man, like, is it too much for people? Like, I'm telling you, even when, you know, people, when women talk about their sexual exploits a lot or things that they've done. Oh, I don't want nothing to do with that. Like, yo. I'm sorry, I don't want, and no guy does. I love my young, my young Miami. Young Miami said she got peed on. No guy wants to deal with that. <laughs> Who wants to be with the girl that got pissed on you? <laughs> Who oh. wants to be all your boys watching? A, y'all start listening to your girl's podcast. Oh, where, what? what episode? Oh, the one where she got pissed, dumped on her fucking head? It's only head? because she talked about it. Say again? I said it's only because she talked uh, you about it. You don't want to know that. Nobody wants, yeah. yeah. No one wants to know she it. Probably, mad girls have probably done it and just haven't talked yeah, about it. Yeah, don't talk about it. But Do you know all what, the though? craziest freak shit, just don't talk about it. Through all of that, it's people that were still... Be with a million guys. Don't talk about it. Through all of that, it's still people that would marry young Miami, though. Because she's fun. You know what I'm saying? And she's a fun girl from Florida, man. First of all, Florida girls are absolutely a good time. Yeah, there's you know no question. Saying? Listen... And there's guys out there that will be so enthralled with who she is. They they want to wife her up. They crazy. Yeah. That's what they're... D- yeah. Just if I'm if I'm if there are women listening right now, do not talk about all the guys you fuck and the dicks you suck and the cum and the piss and don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> God damn. I'm just saying, just don't do it. If you want to have like a, a lasting relationship, don't do it. It just because it's gonna be very difficult for a lot. Guys are very sensitive. Our egos are You're incredibly not lying. sensitive. He's not lying. And we're emotionally fragile people. He's not lying. I wish that we were more confident. And that more of us could handle you talking about that. But the reality is that most of us can't. And probably the ones that you want to be with definitely can't. I think sexual exploits are probably fine, but it's like those details. No, nah, I don't. We, I, we like don't if you know. say, if you tell me you got a train ran on you, if you tell me you got peed Holy on. Moly. <laughs> <laughs> Holy moly. Holy moly. You got, if you got peed on while getting a train ran on. Charlemagne. <laughs> Charlemagne. Charlemagne. Stop that. <laughs> Damn. No, that is no, no, no. <laughs> he snorted. Come on, bro. I'm, I'm, no. I'm learning that a lot after the Britney Renner interview that I did. Oh, yeah, all she the guys probably regrets mad. all that shit, right? All the guys are mad. Right. But all the women are in the comments like, I feel her. I'm proud of her. Like, this is dope to see the turnaround. I'm glad that she's going through this stage of life. But there has been a turnaround. But, yeah. Well, she, don't, she, don't, she's, she don't like that life she was living? No, she regrets having that intention. She wants love and... Of course she does. She probably regrets putting all that out there because yes. she realizes how hard it is now to actually Who's find Who's going to some- marry her? And then she also said that, you know, a lot of it wasn't true. She just leaned into it for social media because social media was paying that picture. See what I'm saying? Uh, she needs she need God. She needs to become a Christian. God damn. She needs Christian. So no, I'm being honest with you. And, and, and this, but but you guys are allowed to be hoes and talk about no, it. No, we're and- not. Now nah, we are. Yes, you, yes, no, you are. No, we're not. I don't but, know why but, but, y'all but, but, say that. But, but, that's your fault. But no, we're not, not allowed you to be You forgive hoes. us. By the way, Schultz, we're not allowed to be hoes. We are. No, you're not. You yeah, are. If, 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 if you, if they, if it's there actually were, if, encouraged. Like no, you not. said earlier. Charlemagne. Literally, like you no, said earlier. Charlemagne the God. If you don't no, do not. this, you're considered gay. No, so it's not. You, Charlemagne I'm gonna the God. Between, I'm going to tell you this between guys and women. When guys talk about our sexual exploits, we talk about them like in general. Like, yeah, I did this, I did that. You ain't on here talking about, I got a hundred bodies. I slept with a hundred women. Have you ever done that? I know some guys so with who more have. than a hundred women. I'm not a gay guy. Gay, 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 gay guy. What do you mean? Slept with more than a hundred girls, Charla. Oh, see, you just ruined my point. I never heard you yeah. say that. Oh, you were trying, to, you were trying you. to say I'm gay, bro. You're disgusted. <laughs> you can't sleep with less than a hundred girls. You might as well a suck my dick. You know how so, much a hundred people is? Shut I, I have not slept with a hundred women. Wait, really? Hell no. Well, you've been with the same, because that's cheating. A hundred women that's cheating is every crazy. Time. I haven't sure. been with the same girl since I'm 18. That's disgusting. This what do you mean? I've slept with more than 500 women. There's no way it's just a hundred. What? It's impossible. Bro, it's only 365 days in the year, bro. Charlotte. Yo, like you Charlotte. Have, you have slept with 500 <laughs> women? <laughs> no, but Charlotte. No, trust me. Do the what? math. Like, maybe not 500, but you could, I've never, you could I've definitely not, do... I have not slept with close to 100 women. Yes, you oh have. I have not. All right. Y'all don't realize how much 100 is, bro. I slept I, with over 500. 100 is a crazy number. Yeah, 100 is a lot. I slept with over 500... 
four years ago before I met my wife. So I think about that. that. Fuck up. I don't believe I'm, that. I, 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 no, you didn't. 500 women show. Do I look like a gay guy to you, bro? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, bro. Come on, I'm yo. Nothing. Gay is straight. Ain't it's nobody. Shultzy. Gay is straight. It's gay is straight. Ain't nobody getting that kind of action, bro. 500. That. <laughs> I, I'm not even joking when I say this. I don't think. I don't think. I don't think want listen. That. Why? 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 I don't think. I don't think Drake or Trey Songz has slept with 500 women. No, I think Trey Songz. Come on, yo. I think Trey Songz absolutely. Y'all know how much 500 is. You gonna yo? stop calling these dudes gay? Trey Songz would do 500 in a month if he could. Yes. It's impossible. <laughs> uh, Charla, are you crazy? Five hundred women Why in a month. Impossible. Hey, what do you mean I don't a month? Care, I don't care. No, what in a month. month. City. Why Why you said a month. month. Why that was month? ridiculous. You can't do it in we a said year. Life. We said no, life. No, we're talking about life. No, so I, I, said, I said a month. No. I said a month for Trey. No. Okay. No. Six, hold on, hold on. Let's do sixteen. Right? You start having sex. Yes. Let's just not even. Let's do twenty. Twenty to thirty. That's ten years. Okay. Five hundred divided by ten is what? Fifty. That's 50 girls a year. Do you know how much that is? Nothing, bro. That's four. Now, by the way. That's four if, a month. If, if, you're a, if you're a rapper. Four a month? You can't have sex with four girls a month? Will Chamberlain. Uh, your your guy's holding up a sign girls? saying, Will Chamberlain fuck 20,000 yeah, women. Yeah, but that's cap, That's bro. all fucking cap. That's cap, but that's not 500. <laughs> 20, I don't see it. Charlotte. I don't see it. Especially Trey Songz. You Imagine, can't have sex with Trey four Songz girls a month? So, no. I'm, every yeah, single show, a night. every single show, he can bring at least two home. You're assuming this, this, this is what this is what y'all are factoring yeah, that's in. So y'all are factoring in he's fucking a different woman. That's why yes. every, every night at every, every show, show there's even, different people there. Yeah, y'all yeah. believe that for a month? <laughs> yo, 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 it's crazy. It's, child, it's crazy it's that y'all child, believe that. Bro. It's crazy that y'all think that these men don't have more discipline and that their teams aren't pushing that away. Like, yo, these guys got a lot more discipline than you think. If they was out here fucking different women every night, there'd be a lot more bullshit they would be into. Trey Songz gonna be in bullshit? Yes, yeah, he is. Exactly. Yeah, he what you talking about? about? Bullshit. He is. Yeah. He is. I still, no. Five, I don't think y'all realize how much 500 is, y'all. Charlotte. Yo. All right, all right, I haven't slept with 500 women. I, I know I'm you haven't. I'm lying. I'm lying. I'm lying. I'm lying. I'm lying. But 500 really isn't that crazy. Crazy. It's really not that crazy. 100 is. I'm 44. I ain't been with no 100 women. I tell you yeah, that. Yeah, but right you're, now. you've been with the same girl since you're 17. That is so true. you're supposed to be with one. That so is true. anything after that is bad. That is true. <laughs> no, you're right. Right? So you shouldn't crazy. be with 100. 100 is insane. Yeah, because that's 100 cheats. That's yeah. bad. So we don't want to know <laughs> your number. Okay? No, you can have 100 cheats with a different girl, with one girl. No. No, we count that as one cheat. It don't cheat. go by times. Yeah. It what goes by mean? person. Yeah. I guarantee you, there's a bit, if you and your wife are having a conversation and you cheat, and you'd be like, only we, we had sex one time. Yeah, that's better. Way better. A hundred is a full blown I'll be honest, having sex multiple times that's with the same girl is probably worse, worse than having sex yes. one time with a bunch I of different girls. Absolutely. No, 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 I just no, said that. You missed the second sentence, though. No, I did not miss the second sentence. I, said that, I exactly said the same What'd you shit. say? What'd you say? You said that the same shit y'all just said. What'd you just say? I don't even fucking remember now, but I know it was the same shit that y'all just said. I know, I know. I just said the same goddamn shit. All I know is 100 is a lot. <laughs> you said the number of times versus the body. Yes. Wouldn't but no. that upset you more? A mm. hundred girls. No, it's, 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 it's two different things, though. That's less than one a month. What do you mean? Ten girls you, a year, that's less than one a month. Yeah. If you go to Dominican Groom Public for one week and that's 17. Ten girls a year take you 10 years. You fuck her twice, that's your girlfriend. Now, if you just Ooh. get multiple bodies... If you just got a bunch of multiple bodies, you just have a compulsive problem. Right, Y'all got to go back to old Charlotte. That was my rule. What? She have sex with a girl more than three times. That's a relationship. It is. It is. And always, that's the problem. I always said that. That's a, that. Now you hear it from a woman. I was saying this 15 years ago. But that's ago. not true. It is absolutely true. What? You even did your finger like it. You might not think it in your head, <laughs> but in her head saying? it is. <laughs> just thinking about no, it. No, if you have sex with a girl multiple times, that's not your girlfriend. Yes. A situationship. Why? Why? It's a situationship, but it's not your girl. <laughs> Multiple times means you're dealing with that person. This, 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 this genius. What? We was waiting on the genius commentary. Yeah. <laughs> Taylor, get on the mic, please. I don't Taylor, know. can you get on the mic? Hold on. Did somebody run through it multiple times, but they didn't wife you up? <laughs> Holy well, shit. I'm not talking about myself, Holy so calm yourself shit. down. I'm just saying. Oh, I'm saying you're Holy saying shit. three times 
you're in a relationship, right? So not true. Yeah, no, 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 no. I'm saying it's just within a month. That's what I'm saying because you can have sex over time. No, like, no, no. Time limit don't got shit to do with it. Okay. Exactly. If you're my man and you're having sex with somebody else, yes. multiple no, 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 times, yes. you're wrong. It don't matter what the time. Frame. Oh, oh, wait I a minute. No, 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 that's I crazy. Talking about cheating Some of these girls need dick. I was just saying, like, if Some of these girls need dick. No, no, we're saying if you're in a relationship with somebody else. Some need dick, too. There are girls that just need dick. They just need it. That's facts. And those girls are willing to settle for great dick. But nothing else. Because they have stressful lives, Charlemagne. Okay, but they can go find a single man to give them that. Wait, what? But I you said once, I, once you have sex with those girls more than one time, you're in a relationship. Yeah. He was talking about... You you're said, letting him confuse you. No, I'm, I'm not. I'm not trying to confuse you. I'm asking questions. You were saying that him cheating is bad because he's been with somebody for a long time. So I'm talking about people who are with somebody that have sex outside of their relationship. Right? That's fucked up. I'm not talking about just single people dating. Cheating is wrong. But even with single people dating, you start fucking somebody more than once, it becomes a thing. Yes. It becomes a situation. That, yo, you can't, yo, I, if you explain to your girl, I slept with her one time, that was it, I apologize, whatever, whatever, she gonna still be pissed off, she might forgive you, she may not, but if you tell her you slept with this one girl a hundred times? You had an affair. Boy! You had a full blown affair. <laughs> you better stay over there. Yeah, well, nobody's discussing yeah. that. Why y'all? Nobody's disagreeing with that. Because one of y'all said that. You said it. Yeah, you said. I this. never said that. You definitely said that. I didn't say it. All right, all right. Michael B. Jordan heard you. Let's pay some bills. <laughs> Shout out to the goat. No, no, ain't no goat now. God damn it. <laughs> the goat. <laughs> ain't no goat. Michael shit. B. Jordan, the goat. Um, Last lap. We pulling up. You want to do blue chew? <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Yo, we pulling up. Two blue chew. Yo, guys, listen. <laughs> Stop. Listen, if you try to have sex with more than one woman in your life, <laughs> okay, if you want to do that, you got to make sure you got to make sure you're stiff dicked. Stiff dick is one of the most important things when it comes to having sex. Because <laughs> you can't have sex without it. You can't try to mash your little soft noodle dick into a vagina with your fingers. That's not sex. You need stiff dick. And stiff dick is going to be brought to you by Blue Chew. The <laughs> blow your back out potion. Okay? You're going to... Can I start this whole <laughs> <laughs> no, Keep going. That's go. crazy. Keep going, keep yeah. going, keep going. This guy said he'll blow his dad's back out. Whoa. Ready? All right, guys, we're going to take a break for a second. Listen, let me tell you all something, man. The chew, the blue chew, is really what you need right now. You know, we've been having a lot of sex talk during this podcast, a lot of dick talk, if you will. Shout out to dick talk. And, um... Listen, there's one way to deliver the best dick you've ever delivered in your life, and that's with Blue Chew. Same active ingredients as inside Cialis or Viagra, but this is the chew. This is the one we're rocking with, the one that we're making sure that our women are happy, satisfied, indulged, lustful with the chew, okay? The stiffest dang -lang you've ever had in your life. Grab it, throbbed up. Let them grab it. You know what I'm saying? Splitter splatter. That's bluechew.com. You're going to get your first month free. All you got to do is pay $5 shipping. Okay? Bluechew.com. Make sure you use the promo code IDIOTS with an S on the end, Chris. That's right. IDIOTS. Just pay $5. $5 for shipping. Best dick of your life. Delivered right to your door. Enjoy it. Let us know how it goes. Now, let's get back to the show. Yeah, man. Let's get back to the show. Salute to Marlon Wayans, too, man. Uh, Marlon Wayans, he mentioned me in his... Uh... New stand-up special as well on what HBO Max. What happened with that? God loves me. Uh, it was entertaining because he bought he he called back to some tweets. Uh, he leveled at me back in 2009. I forgot who he was talking about, but he was describing. Oh, he's talking about Chris Rock, and he was saying how when he first knew Chris Rock, you know, he was saying like Chris Rock was a bunch of different shades of black. He was like he was like he was like he's three different colors black, and you know he looked like a bruised eggplant. And then he was like he looked like Charlemagne the God three years ago. So it's actually about eight nine years ago, but. Uh, when me and Marlon got into a Twitter beef back in 2009, he he threw all those at me. He said I look like a bruised eggplant. He said I was three different colors black. I need to choose one. And Marlon said the one tweet that has ever hurt me in my life. Whoa. And the one tweet that ever hurt me in my life was when he told me that I had peaked at life. Oof. Because Marlon said, because <laughs> at the time, it's context, right? I'm back at home living with my mom. And I've been fired from radio for the fourth time. My, my wife, my now wife, is back living at home with her parents. We got a two-year-old daughter. And when you see that, when you see, because he was clowning me about being fired. That was oh, part of the God. ammo. And then he goes, you peaked that life, nigga. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm. 
I looked around like, have I? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> have I really peaked at life? But unlike a lot of people, uh, I use that as motivation. That shit don't bother me at all. It's like, oh, I'm going to show him what peaking at life looks like. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> and so, you know, I just got on my, got on my shit. I, I, it's not like I wasn't going to be on my shit anyway. But it's nice to have a little fuel for the you fire. You got to have a little fuel for the fire, man. So he came on Breakfast Club, and then did you guys you suss it out? You talk about it? Well, we, we Marlon always comes on Breakfast Club. We've actually had that conversation before, but it's just the stand-up mm. gave it new context. You know what I'm saying? Because he mentioned all of those old... The, and I like that, the fact that, damn... 09, he said these things, and now they're back in the stand-up special, you know, all of these years wow. later. So uh, salute to Marlon. I heard, I heard God Loves Me is really, really good. I, I saw some of it. I didn't get to finish the whole thing. Uh, Ballsy moved to drop it right before Chris, too. Yeah. Because a lot of it is about the slap. You know, oh, I, I, I saw a lot of that. I saw, like, a lot of the stuff he was saying about Chris Rock and Will and yeah. Jada and everything else. A lot of it is about the actual slap, so. What about the uh, rumors that uh, Tyler Perry is going to buy... BET. BET. I think that would be fantastic. Is that true? Yeah, it's true. It's true. It's a rumor, but it's true. Um, I heard Byron Allen today. I don't know how true the Byron Allen part of it is, but the Tyler Perry aspect of it is definitely true. Um, and it would make sense. I mean, Tyler already owns, I think, 25% of BET Plus, their streaming service. Mm -hmm. um, he's got a lot of content on BET, uh, BET and BET Plus. And I just think it would be dope. It would be dope for BET to be in black hands. And why not Why not Tyler Perry? Love it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Tyler, Tyler's that guy, man. Love it. You know? Uh, so I, I, I don't know why people were upset about uh, what Donald Glover said at the Writers Guild Awards. I was at the Writers Guild Awards because uh, Hell of a Week was nominated for Best Variety hey. Talk Show Series. We didn't win. We lost the, uh, last week tonight by John Oliver, but it was a- it Good was, company. Yeah, it was a dope. It was a dope event to go to. You know what I'm saying? Just to have you know the whole team there. Not really my type of room. You know what I mean? But why? I like creating. I don't need the Hollywood to do shit. Yeah, you know what I mean. Agreed. I like creating. I even enjoyed being nominated. You know what I mean? But I didn't. I don't like the. I don't like the Hollywood vibe. Like yeah. Spielberg was in there. You know what I mean? It was cool seeing Spielberg. Spike Lee got honored mm -hmm. as he should. They only showed one of Spike Lee's movies in his montage, which I thought was very strange. Mm. They show, they, all they showed was he got game. Different scenes from he got game. I don't know why. That was strange as fuck. And Donald Glover presented um, uh, Paul Sims, uh, who's, who's like a big showrunner in the business, with an honorary award. And um, he made a joke about, I guess they said it was about Chevy Chase using the N-word. I didn't get that from what he said. I got him trying to allude to it, but I don't, it was just weird, you know? Um, and everybody's making it a thing, like, oh, Chevy Chase, Donald Glover says Chevy Chase called him the N-word on the set of Community. I didn't see that, but. Can you scroll down a little, Taylor? There's audio to it. Yeah. I don't think he was trying to get the audio. I think you got caught looking at Donald right Glover's there. lips. Chevy Chase once called Herb one of the funniest no, writers looking, working in television. Chevy Chase once called me, you know what? This is about Paul. It was long. It was long. It was a very long, very between long him and then him actually coming up and speaking. All right, let's do some Ask an Idiot, all right? <laughs> <laughs> Nino Blue says, what is something you are actively trying to improve on every day? Nyla? Um... Uh... You're just so perfect. Yeah, but I don't know. <laughs> I guess just balance, I would say. Yeah. Like, um, trying to eat health. There's a lot I'm trying Have to accomplish. Have you ever tried balancing on one leg like that with, like, both I used to do that shit all the, the time, yo. Yeah. yeah you know, that was my move. When Karate Kid came <laughs> yeah, out, yo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't even that, know if I can still do that shit. I, you want to try it? I doubt Come on, it. let's try. Oh, uh, God. Try. Man. <sighs> Your pants too tight, Char. Okay. That's easy. Back in the no, but now you got to do the switch kick. <laughs> yeah, don't do that over here. It was the switch? No, you got to kick. What the fuck are you doing? What? All right, okay. Have you this, ever seen Karate Kid? Just, I just, <laughs> this is too much. What's happening? 
Yo, I'm not gonna lie, Charlotte. I you, didn't mean- you might fuck Michael B. Jordan up. <laughs> yeah, that right there, yeah, bro. Right. That right there was a problem, yeah. bro. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not lying, dude. He just switched it to more to more tight knees and shit right that now. Was crazy. Yeah. Yo, you're a good karate fighter, man. Yo, Charlamagne. Everybody was kung fu fighting. You didn't have to do their accident. That was not the a accent. white guy I was singing sung a song. that song though. For real? Yeah. You know what that song is about? Kung fu fighting. Masturbation. Really? Everybody was kung fu. Huh? <laughs> <What>? <laughs> it is. That's a real. Th- that is a. That is a. No, I'm being dead serious. The corner says update. Uh, Charlotte update on the next book. Damn it, the streets hungry. Working on it. Third book is on the way. What is the third book going to be about? Yeah. Yeah, I tell y'all closer to the time. It's time. But no, nah, it's, it's, it's yeah, working on it. This year. What stories nah, are you going to tell? It won't be next year. It'll be it'll be soon, but it won't be eh, it won't be this year. Cuz we got a couple other releases coming out from Black Privilege Publishing this year, man. Ooh. Um we got two releases coming out in the fall. I cannot wait to announce uh the first one that'll be out. Um but yeah, we got a couple releases coming out this year. Go get uh, State of Emergency by Tamika Mallory, How to Win in the Country We Built, and Go yeah. Get Shallow Waters by Anita Kopak. Those are the first two releases from Black Privilege <laughs> Publishing. <laughs> and I got two, we got two coming out this year. Two uh two books that I'm excited about, man. So I'll be making those announcements real soon. Oh, this is a good one. Yasmi Yup says, if you were gay, who would be your ideal celebrity partner? Come on, bro. What? Come on, bro. What? Don't do that. Do what? Don't do that. Do what? Don't do that. You afraid man. to announce? Is don't it? do that. Why bro. you might run into him and don't get do bricked that. up? Don't do and that. Don't want them to know you bricked up. Don't do that, bro. <laughs> what you mean? Don't do that. What you mean? Don't do that. Nyla? I feel like you just trying to instigate. Nyla, my ass. Envy or Schultz? I said, Nyla, if you were gay, who would be oh, your oh, ideal? Oh. What the fuck is wrong with you? Yo, this girl's crazy. Bro. <laughs> Her fucking mind. This girl's crazy. <laughs> oh, so okay. Defensive, yo. Okay. The What's going what the on fuck right is wrong there? With you, yo? If I was gay, <laughs> who would be my ideal celebrity partner? Do they need to be gay or can I flip them to gay too? Wait, huh? Who would be yours, Nyla? Oh, they as in the person? Yeah. What do you think I, I was talking about? I don't have one. Who would, you don't have one? No. There's no girl that you could les up and then you'd want to be with? No. If you were les. If you were a big old Come bo. on. If you were a big yeah. les. Yeah. Come no on. No rap city. I'm I'm okay. <laughs> Not there's not a single girl that if you were a carpet munch you would go carpet afterwards. Munch. <laughs> you would go after not a single one. Cat, big cat. Okay, we know you do. Of course, Taylor. you're already forty nine percent gay as is. Yeah. So you just you are gay. To get tipped you, over. You gay? Yo, get you, over you, there. You said because you said a girl ate you out. That's not gay. You that's definitely gay. That's the epit- that is actually no, what gay I'm is. Just- like you said earlier, just give it a head. Like, I'm just laying back. I'm, I'm trying to be pe- at peace. You gay. I'm trying to be at peace. Sorry, so if, we, if I was just we, laying back and a guy gave me head, would I be gay? Definitely. Okay. But well, that's different. It's I'm not different. different. <laughs> you double standard having ass human. That ain't that gay if a guy gives you head. Why? You got to stop because people really <laughs> wait, wait, believe that. Everybody was kung argument. fu fighting. Yo, I'm trying to make your argument. Come on. <laughs> um, well, I would say Megan Thee Stallion. You would be gay for Megan The Stallion? Yes. Do you see how she twerks? What oh, you like a twerk? Could you stop? She's been through enough. That's the last thing she needs. What's the last thing she needs? You. Um, let's go. What else? <laughs> yeah. Wait, up. why is he saying that? Why is he, I don't know. Why are you? Why, are you, I, why is she coming? And why how are you, you going to ask the question and not answer? Who? Yeah. You. Yeah, Who would yours? you be gay for, bro? Nobody. Come on, why? yo. That's Cap. That's Cap. Not celebrity. Come on, bro. Uh, not, not a celebrity. celebrity. <laughs> not a celebrity. <laughs> That's that's way worse. I know, not a celebrity. <laughs> what about that, what that about, means you really like somebody yeah, on the low so that's what that a, a you guy really, who drives Uber. Yeah, right. That you just really into. First of all, why would you disrespect me like that? What you mean? <laughs> if I'm gonna ever be gay, okay, and give up these cheeks? <laughs> wow, you're a bottom be for too. somebody. So you're a bottom. It's gonna be somebody. Yeah. It's gonna be for somebody with some trillions. All right. Oh, not oh, a celebrity okay. like a no financial fucking celebrity. Uh, okay, so who? Um, so some Saudi know. prince is gonna shit on a table in Dubai for you? <laughs> is that what you want? <laughs> nah, I don't want no Saudi. What? Why not? Um. <laughs> 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 Come on, bro. Why not? Why not? Ah! 
<laughs> yeah, your, your brain is a crazy thing, yo. Because <laughs> really you don't have to it say really shit. Is, I said some shit in my mind, and that shit was enough for me. I don't care if the pot is. <laughs> <laughs> right. I'm telling you no, but my body. <laughs> it's exploding. <laughs> um, nah, but it wouldn't be for no celebrity. They ain't got enough money for these cheeks. Ooh. So who? Uh, who said I'm gonna be a bottom? What? Who said I'm gonna be a bottom? You said you're giving up the cheeks. You still, bro? When I mean even giving up the cheeks, I mean I'm gonna let somebody crack them. I'm just saying they still gonna see the cheeks. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? This guy, this cheeks, guy, bro. That's giving it up, this bro. Come on, man. You ain't never, you're not gonna sit here and tell me the <laughs> prince hit that stage <laughs> with his ass out. People wasn't like, yo, he giving it up. So the, That's what they mean, the man. The mental gymnastics to spin cheeks. out with some real, just that. Yo, you don't think so? So you just gonna walk around <laughs> naked but not let nobody crack? That might, that's enough for some of these rich old motherfuckers. Wait, so that's what you're going to <laughs> What are you talking about? That's more than enough. How do you know? There's you speaking for that ex- type of shit. Just get naked. Play video games with me or some shit. Wait, so that's what you would do? You would just play video games with some really rich guy? Depends what I was at in life. Jeff Bezos? Depends what I was at in life. Uh, Depends where you at in life, right? Well, tell me. Where are you You can't at? ever say you wouldn't do something until, you know, what if you... Done hit rock bottom and your kids are starving and you know what I mean? Like, you know. Oh, she's Charlotte. She's crazy. <laughs> you wouldn't play video game. Hold on, time out, time out. Yeah, yeah. You're <laughs> broke. <laughs> Dead. <laughs> Dead is. to the world. God. Like, Crazy. And this guy, like, this I'll give guy you, is this crazy. Guy, this guy like, is this guy, like, insane, I'll give you bro. $10 million to this play guy. video games butt naked with me. <laughs> Nothing else. Yeah. You wouldn't do it? I'll be honest, I'd do it if it was for The Last of Us 3. If they put out the new Last of Us, <laughs> if he just had access to the new Last of Us, you don't even know. Yo, so you cheap. The 10 million, cheap, bro. You cheap. He, he's yeah. going to play the video games. That's it. We're going to butt naked play 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 playing video games. That's it. And then I can leave right after. That's right. That's all. And you got to reset million? the game whenever. It's a girl. You got to reset the game every now and then. It's a lesbian. Uh. So you got to reset the game. So that means you got to get, get up. up. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Sit back there. So they're going to see. They're going to see into that doo-doo hole. They're going to see. Make sure there's no toilet paper remnants. You got to make sure. I know you Come girls on, don't know yo. how to wipe. $10 million. <laughs> That's a lot of money. I already told you, if he said Last of Us, I'm be like, oh, where you got Last of Us? <laughs> <laughs> right, so, so let, let me get this straight. So they got at, at the third part of Last of Us. The okay, cool. Story is people you want to start? That's a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> I've been waiting for this game for so long, man. Last of Us Part 2 is so exciting. <laughs> I just yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, come on, come on. By the way, this is a hypothetical <laughs> scenario. This motherfucker really wants last of us, yo. <laughs> you want my watch off or can I keep my watch really, on? He really what is want, best for you he for really us to play this last game? Of us three. Yeah. Your man over there getting private footage for a little later, bro. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He gonna be kung fu oh. fighting. <laughs> 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 I'm getting the fuck out of here, man. Yeah. <laughs> I'm getting the fuck out of here, man. As always, if you listen to this podcast, you think we're smart, you think we're intelligent, you think we're brilliant, you're absolutely right. But if you listen to this podcast and you think we're just a couple of idiots who don't know shit, you're right too. It's the Brilliant Idiots Podcast. Thank you for listening.